Hey Skyfarers and welcome to Aethercast, the Cowdron Overlords channel and podcast where we have got a lot to talk about today. Uh, joining me for tonight's conversation we have Duard and Max, Max Bowman. Hello. We have our Endron Master to the Garden of Nurgle, Matt Barker. Hey everybody, how's it going? And our Thundra from Down Under, Alexander Cron. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the show. Show guys, glad to have you all back. And Happy to be here. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> Today we have got new points, an FAQ, and everything so far we know about Age of Sigma Four. So lots of stuff. Yeah. Uh, Buckle in, you're gonna be here for five hours. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, <laughs> the show is the news. I've got two. So <laughs> we, yeah, there you go. Is, is there any other news? <laughs> Uh, um, hopefully not. <laughs> news. Not they playing Spearhead at mm. the Warhammer in uh, Dallas. The Warhammer oh. Open in Dallas. They're like releasing the Spearhead rules. That's okay, what I heard. Cool. You oh. mean the? Oh, be what's it called? Combat Patrol in 40k. That no one I, plays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That thing. That's okay. Cool. <laughs> Oh, Lee, you know this. We had rules in a um, GHB 90? Meeting engagement? 20? A meeting engagement. The thing where... Meeting engagement. Ah, yeah. oh, yeah. fantastic time. No so, where, the thing where the it ever was and six it was inches, a waste of. And, they could, and then they were like, well, if you've got a model, then, it's got like you had to bring. Yeah, space. like your big model was like. Just hang them off the table. Hanging off the table. It. And then you had to bring yeah. in your army in two waves and or three yeah. waves. Yeah. I don't remember. On the, little the thing that they ball. had said, oh, it's going to be great and because people want short games and no one ever played it and it was a waste uh, of pages. In that because game. what they forget is people just want Age of Sigma but on a smaller scale. That's all they want and they want it basically the same and that's it. Maybe yeah. even simpler. They don't Do want they it. Really? They, do, they... they want to play with all their yeah. toys. They want big battles. Yeah. Did you guys play the hobby in the late mm. 90s, early 2000s? Yes. They had 40k mm. in 40 minutes. Do you remember that, Max? Oh uh, yeah. It was wow. a white dwarf set of it was a white dwarf set of rules. It was the full game, but they had limits on what you could bring. Like for example, like you couldn't bring it back then tanks had a armor on the front, the side, and the rear, and you couldn't bring mm. anything that was more than like 32 total combined armor. So like no land raiders or predators or whatever. So like yeah, but it was the same full game, just streamlined into what you could bring. And it was really fun. I, I really enjoyed it. So I hope they do something similar to that. Chimeras were the best. Um, <laughs> yeah. You would like Chimeras. I can see that. It's the only thing in that, that, that format that had 12 armor at the front. The only yeah. thing. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> invincible. <laughs> I used to like playing uh, Thousand Point games, but that was kind of when I first was getting into the game. So it was it kind of made sense. Yeah, like, and that's uh, yeah. yeah, and that's my problem. I understand their strategy. They're trying to sell us like a box. You buy this box, you have everything you need to play the game to start the game. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I start with maybe on a World's War band or Warcry, then mm -hmm. I move on to these what they call Spearhead. But then, as a hobbyist, I'll be progressing towards a thousand, thousand five hundred, two thousand point army, which mm -hmm. nowadays is not much. It's not that many models. If you no. play ogres, it's like what ten models? If I sell some behemoth, it could be four <laughs> models. <laughs> yeah, it could be four models. So that's your army, and then why yeah. would you ever go back? No, I don't think people go back unless they're playing doubles, and then so it's like you're going to spend three <laughs> percent of your hobby career with that, and the rest with the big games. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Why. Or if you're Who teaching someone else new. Yeah, uh, yeah. I guess that yeah. onboarding is very important to them because like, it, is the, the it is the onboarding and it is the, yeah. the selling point. It's a marketing mm -hmm. thing, but I don't know if we'll ever see a spearhead tournament. It, it's making well, this the, why I say... the barrier of entry lower, right, for newer yeah, players, people absolutely. coming over this... from video games and stuff like that. This is why I say it needs to be the same game at a smaller scale rather than this different yeah. thing. Because yeah, if you want to exactly. teach someone the game, you don't want to have to learn a different game to teach them. 100%. You just want to teach them the game you're playing. Yeah. So, But but that, that's what they're doing, isn't it? That yeah. they, they have the army, uh, the rules. Oh, we set. don't know yet, do we? So. But they <laughs> explain it with the modularity of their rules. So you have the spearhead rules and the core rules. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. 
And then if you yeah. want to play the magic stuff, you add the magic booklet or pages or chapter. Mm -hmm. Then you add the terrain, or then you add the match play or general's handbook. But so, so I assume the mm -hmm. base rules are the same for Spearhead and yeah, uh, standard Hopefully. AOS. Who knows? We're seeing. I mean, we'll if find it out just, together. If it's just small scale games, then it'll be fine. So, quick quiz: What's in the Spearhead box for KO? Who knows? We don't know yet. Frigate. We don't know yet. We've only got the Vanguard so far, right? Mm. Yeah, you can use the Vanguard for Good question. Spearhead. Isn't it? Isn't Good it question. same? Yeah. I thought the Vanguard uh, boxes were. The they said you could use box. Vanguard boxes for Spearhead. So what I is it? The frigate, frigate, Arcanauts, Admiral, some and three balloon boys. Yeah, yeah. three hmm. three riggers, three sky riggers. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. That's um, a decent start. Talking about balloons. Yes. Uh, uh, since going... forty are not enough, <laughs> I painted oh. three more. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. what do you have total now? Now I have twelve with uh, Melly. Mm. I have probably mm. another ten or so with special weapons, and then I have twelve sky wardens. Mm. I probably have more with special weapons. I need I to bolster. To, I need to bolster to my 40 numbers. Balloons. I need to bolster my numbers. Do we need to stage an intervention, Max? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I remember a show where you came up with what forty-eight sky wardens. Yeah, <laughs> that was uh, uh, at least an edition ago. So soon yeah, it'll be two yeah. editions ago. It's been a while. I I'm yeah. almost there. I'm almost there. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, yeah. I mean Spire that's Max. a fun thing. Whatever comes, whatever they throw at us, mm. I have it painted more or less now. <laughs> Forty-five thunderers, forty arc, forty-two arcanauts because two of the warband. Uh, yeah, a lot of balloons, three frigates, mm. three gun haulers, two ar ironclads. I need to finish my frigates All and bolster the, the number of Sky Wardens I have. Because right now, everything I have revolved around the uh, full engine rigger party boat. Yeah. There's just one, one I unit I have. I have ironclads. This motherfucker here. I mean, that's... <laughs> I can't get around to paint him. Yeah, well, he's been like even... this for three years now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, well, speaking, came out. <laughs> speaking of code rights and Sky Wardens... It's still my painting table. It just can't. They've go got down in points. Surprising points Good change. Segue. Yeah, hey. that's a really yeah. great points change. Like really, like smart changing everything. Rules, yeah. With the Sky Wardens, like I didn't expect it, but that's wholeheartedly deserved. Sky mm. Wardens and Ender Master, I approve. I'm not sure how much it will mm. change lists, but code right. Will you take him now for eighty points? I mean, no. now he's eighty points. You could take no. six of the guy. It's it's a bargain. <sighs> <laughs> Unless you're Maybe. really struggling to get a third hero for some battalion. Left, yeah. yeah, but then you take an engine master. So <laughs> the engine master is 90. So oh, yeah, if you true. need what those 10 points, mm -hmm. ten, it's a you ten have point. an option. Or you just take an, you take an allied. You take an allied. Would it have rune sun is now 70 points? <laughs> mm. I, I tried using the code right and it was okay. It didn't really do much. Disappointing. But he was okay. the first hero to get in and out of the boat. So yes, yeah, that, that's okay. Um, okay, I see a, I see a point there. If you, if you do run more uh, than one, they do proc off each other, and they'll start just generating each other mortal wounds, and it'll exponentially grow, and you'll have like twenty of the thing. Uh, twenty uh, <laughs> command points. <laughs> they just start yeah. arguing with each other back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of rules noise, just yeah, arguing cool. points, uh, arguing rules, and then you, then you, then you get. There's like, the, there's like this enormous war going around, and like orcs <laughs> being thrown, and these two idiots are just like pointing at books and like, like I know it says right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, if you building the the battle tactic gun holder, maybe free of. I mean, you're gonna find ten points for an ender master. Mm -hmm. I yeah, probably. Maybe. Uh, I mean, Maybe. this is better from an internal balance point of view, and um, better for Zon. Um, like, but realistically, Ko didn't need any points decreases. So, well, first of all, it didn't need points increases. Let Let's state <laughs> the facts here. Um, <laughs> Enver Master, one hundred sixty points. I like. I played him a bit uh, recently in the Nar mm -hmm. list, and yeah, he's cool. He's a cool hero. He's fast. He's a good guy to put the Nocidian 
I mean, what's it called? The... Nostone. Nostone. What does any of them? Like, what? what? Yeah. yeah those it doesn't things. matter which null. A torment is the word. Great to put bomblets on. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nah, I just can't find the, the extra artifact. Nah, you always hit the void stone arm. I needed an extra twenty points to be able to upgrade my foot engine master to a dirigible suit engine master. Mm -hmm. But like the plus one to repair rolls when you have eighteen engine riggers doesn't usually do that much. It heals to full anyway. So like mm -hmm. uh, he gets mm -hmm. some extra. He gets saw attacks instead of hammer attacks. So it's uh, it's nice with Brock. But, yeah, but if you're playing six, like it's 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 really a different difference he makes. Oh, the absolutely. Because yeah. 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 the six is going down to fives as well, because that's not unmodified. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's really good as well. Really good, yeah. yeah. So, and I I feel like we haven't seen him much around Elitus mm -hmm. DHB. So he's been a bit yeah. of a his uh his his weapon battery being one damage is kind of wimpy. Yeah, I wish it was two. I wish it was two as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but then you just take Brock. <clears throat> Cannon still being D3 instead of D3 plus three over Brock, though. Mm -hmm. Or maybe even, like, yeah. less shots, but two damage? Like, four, like four shots at three threes, neg one, two no, damage? Right? Put a... Put a what's Brock it called? Uh, the command trait, the grudge... Grudging grudge on him. Grudge yeah. bearer. Mm -hmm. So damage two. <laughs> There's something uh, slightly hypocritical or ironic here, which they've made Skywardens cheaper, but also made the way you get Endrin Riggers, one of the ways you can get Endrin Riggers battle line cheaper as well. <laughs> so it's kind of like, do they want us to make Skywardens? Or do they want us to... Yeah. If they did, they would give them a... a, a... And the Riggers. Yeah. 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 I mean, Skywardens just two, 280 for... Six sky ones is just a lot of points, or was a lot of points. I mean, it still is. I've been using them, but only because I couldn't squeeze in a third hero as a foot engine master. So mm. it made them. I needed the battle line. Yeah, you used them battle line and so on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I couldn't fit the end figures in. And so this doesn't make any difference. Them going down points. It just pushed my list from 1950 to 1930, which I'm, I'm not going to complain mm. about. <laughs> That'd be an interesting uh, option for a release with a new book. Is like a Skywarden hero. You already have an engine master hero yeah. on foot mm. and and mounted, right? It'd be interesting, like a more martial, regimented sort of Zon special hero, balloon yeah. balloon hero would be pre pretty cool. Yeah, mm. see if that or like a Grand Stock hero would be cool. Yeah, or a Grand Stock, um, like a, a, sh a really shooty fo foot hero. Yeah, mm -hmm. with more than nine inch <laughs> range. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he could have a souped up ranging pistol with 15 inch range. No, he just has but... two. He just needs a cannon. One like in each like cannon. Like two cannons. Yeah. I had to pull out my book at a, um, at a tournament recently and show somebody that the Navigator's ranging pistol was Ren 1 because they did not believe me. They thought I was just like fast rolling dice. They're like, wait, wait, wait. That's Ren 1, the, the Navigator. And I'm like, yeah. And so I pulled it out and he's like, god damn, that's crazy. Yeah. It, the, the weird thing yeah, is that I, it's I, 15 inches. That's the, yeah. that's the weird yeah. part. Yeah. It's still it's that just, kind of big sniper. Yeah. yeah. I actually did a wound last night in melee with the navigator. Ah, yes. I love it. Get in. He actually hit someone with his stick and did something. Eat my <laughs> unfortunately, the the model had, yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, the model that he was hitting had two wounds left and only did one. So, <laughs> mm. but, <laughs> oh well. Um, Cool. Uh, other changes or FAQs is they confirmed that you can't take two magnificent omniscopes. So you can't put one on an iCloud and one on a frigate. Because uh, even oh, though they they're different tables. So it's... Pardon? Yeah, they did. I missed that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> missed the, the, app, the app didn't. Let that's you why do you watch the but... show. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm here. Yes. To inform myself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not to inform others. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, you can't take two because even though they're from different tables, they are still just the same omniscope. Okay. The, the app, the app never ever... let you do it when you built when you were building a list, but it's still good to know officially, I suppose. I mean, magnificent yeah. omniscope, yeah. whatever. I mean, I let's quickly talk about this whole battle scroll. I mean, we ha someone or what, got whether paid we needed it <laughs> to work for it's things that are going to be valid. What eight, eight weeks max? less hmm. i mean end of may they have their big reveal events so 
I think the thing is, though, is that in a previous timeline, they have committed to doing a battle scroll at this interval or this time frame. But the and last it, one was late. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, very late. Was two yeah. months late. Right? And then yeah. this one is like a little bit early, but still, they like are like checking off the box so they can't be criticized yeah. for like, oh, you never released a battle scroll. Well, you know, the edition was changed and nobody's no playing. Yeah. But they exactly so it's like they had to do it and they're just like, fine, just get it over with now. Yeah. I, the real question is how many people care about the battle scroll? <laughs> because at this point, I, not as many. But I mean, still, uh, a few, a few do. There's still tournaments ongoing for the next two months. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but like now is like the perfect time to like, like reap. Well, at least for me, because I, I, I like play a lot in the ITC, so I'm like trying to rack up as many ITC points as I can before the great unknown comes. Right? Mm -hmm. Like we're yeah. like it's a strong army now. Like everybody's pretty lackadaisical, maybe trying meme list, but you can like swoop into some GTs and like really like get some good ITC points before the fourth edition comes and blows everything up, and you don't know what's going to mm -hmm. happen. So I'm like trying to get to everything I can right now. Weekend mm -hmm. RTTs, GTs, anything. My main issue is not like for KO, uh, the 10 points more or less. I, I don't care. It doesn't change much yeah. for me personally. Mm -hmm. um, my issue is more at the moment, I don't know what to paint because mm -hmm. I paint for tournaments or, or, yeah. or, or yeah, it's I want to try motivation. So at the moment, I'm sitting around like, yeah, oh, I have these free balloons. Let's paint those. I don't need to paint. I don't need them <laughs> for any list. Let's just get them finished, I guess. I am, uh, I'm yeah. continuing a silver commission for a friend of mine. Yeah, I mean, I, I just bought five steam tanks, but that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> going to gonna play the old world, Max? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're, they're not, not GW 50 euro steam tanks, but steam tanks. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing having trying to have fun with Doc, which I, they they got good in this um in this points change. They got a whole lot of yeah, they got a lot like fifty points less now. Even the snakes went down. Like I would never have thought the snakes would go down again. Yeah, no, nah. yeah. The one I unit was... people played. <laughs> yeah. I was really hoping Blight Kings would get a points reduction, and I could actually write a, a like a Blight King uh, list again, but. No, nope. they got that two inch range. Woo! That, 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 yeah. Everything Woo actually makes them usable. I made a me I made a Blake King meme list where there's a block of 15 because you won't be able to do that soon, and then five of the foot heroes that each give them plus one attack. And it's by FAQ, it stacked. So each Blake King in a fifth, so there'd be 150 attacks at Ren One. Uh, hey, they have two inch reach now, so it's, mm -hmm. I guess it actually makes sense. And the hero went down 10 points, so it's got 50 points cheaper. So, uh, 10, 10 attack blight kings. Wow, and now they can all then now they can all, yeah, hit. yeah, exactly. So, that, is, that's why the they can all go in the, in the wizard tie. finders battalion and get an extra. Oh, <laughs> shit. there it is. There's the talk. <laughs> I'm taking it. For, you know what? Forget KO next week at the RTT. Uh, I'm taking a 60 attack Blight King. Or, yeah, <laughs> 11 attacks each. <laughs> and it still would do two damage to Archeon. <laughs> yeah. uh, good stuff. Uh, right. Um, I guess the only thing that you could say is disappointing about these points changes is they didn't put the gun hauler down. Yeah, come on. Seriously. Come on. Yeah, why? What what, what, yeah. what did the gunwaller do? Yeah, what have you done, Alex? <laughs> they saw no Max's one, no uh, gun haul list. list. Mm -hmm. We have a spy Alex, Alex started it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The gun list. Then I did it, yeah. and then they they broke it, and yeah, 180 points. Yeah, <sighs> it is. Expensive. And 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 they're taking the ordinator out back. Like, come on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Yeller> style. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Um. Yeah, I'm mm, gonna slide for all this stuff being removed. Oh, have to... we not talked about that 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 yet? This is just no. free form aether cast, you know, after dark. <laughs> yeah, lots of stuff being removed uh, from the game for Age, Age of Sigma Four, inclu including the Ordinator, um, mm, uh, the and like lots of stuff. Encounter, yeah. yeah. I guess basically we'll the whole there's another. Check. No. There's another Stormcast. I, ser I feel strongly for people who are losing armies. It must be just an absolute gut-wrenching feeling. 
quite yeah, I understand. And then GW, that. and then GW cool. is like, oh well, they deserve retirement. Go play the old world. Mm. It's like, okay, wow, what a great mm. response from a company I, to make money. I do and know then, someone that's quit the game because of this, because they had like Beast of Chaos and Sacrosan Chamber. They're like, well, I've got no, I've got for two armies to zero, and then I'm like, just not going to play anymore. I mean, you can play Beast for another year, but it's going to yeah. be a bit. Mm. You know they're yeah. not. Gonna... Here come uh, right yeah, I have to put there. beast. I because I, I know a few people have beast armies, and it's mm. yeah, it's it's a feel bad because there's mm -hmm. a lot of models in the army. Yeah, mm -hmm. that you paint it, you put a lot of time and effort into it. I, and the excuse, yeah, play old world. Yeah, hey, you need to mm -hmm. rebase it. Get out of here. You don't have to, but you could. But that maybe you don't even have friends that play old world. So. Yeah, what are you gonna yeah, do? PR people have never been never been great. Like they they when they they make big sweeping changes and they uh, I remember the Forge World fiasco when all the when all the uh, the price went up they they converted it and they were just and their their PR department was talking about a cantomancy but was we don't know all the details about the cantomancy but we're sure we're still getting a great deal like, but but all the prices just went up twenty percent why <laughs> you, you did the conversion <laughs> somehow in that conversion. We got Australian prices. I don't know what happened. There. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. And for the Stormcast, you can still play the army. I, I've seen a list where someone went through all the the units that got removed, and actually only two that you can't really use for anything else. Mm -hmm. A lot of the others you could just, I mean, the Liberator, you can just use it as a Liberator. Yeah, of course. It's just a different looking armor. Yeah, it's the new Liberator. It's not the, the Primaris fancy new armor, but you can still mm -hmm. use it. And a lot of the heroes is, is, is it's a dude with a staff or a dude with a hammer. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, just play just them. Use them. Else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A lot um, of people don't know what your yeah. models are anyway. I don't exactly. know. I never know what There's anyone's so is. There's so many I'm heroes. Like, playing, playing last night, I was like, oh, yeah, the shirtless dudes and the guys with the, those, yeah. guys, those guys with armor, but not the big guys with the armor. That's what that's, I just refer to people with models like that. I don't know. I just make up, I make up words like the Knight <laughs> Inflictator. Like, is that what that is? Like, <laughs> Yeah. Fun, fun, fun fact. Uh, I was at a team event in Copenhagen last weekend, and they did a quiz between round two and three. Oh. I, I was uh, paired up with uh, the Owen Jackson. Hello, Owen. Thank you. We almost made it. Uh, didn't I'm sure win. he's watching. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> he's a fan. Uh, he told me so much. Um, oh, okay. And there was a question, and I'm going to ask you this question. Uh, the quiz question was How many War Scrolls are there in Stormcast Eternals? 72. Uh, is Matt? it close? I know it's about 70 something. Matt is looking it up. Sorry, Alex, what, what do you think? How many? What was that? Um, I think it's more than 72. 70, I'm going to go with 76, actually. All right. Lee's going 76. I'll go 77. Just so, 77. so I, I, if it's above, I, I get it. Wait, okay. wait. Can, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Quick. Go ahead. How many War Scrolls are there in the Stormcast Eternals book currently at the moment? 110. <laughs> okay. Uh, my guess was 80, or mine and Owen's, uh, is 85. Hey, I wasn't as so off for that scoff. That's 85. A, uh, a lot, dude. That's crazy. Was cross. So, yes, uh, maybe it makes sense to cut down a few yeah, of I mean, those does, heroes that so. no one's using anyway. But the, the uh, evocators, for... like evocators and evocators on Dracolines, I don't think there's something no. like you've got no comparison. There's nothing you could count. Yeah, you can use them as. The other guides are Tempestors and Fulminus. I think mean, what he means is there's no anime. duplication there. There's no other units that are wizards on, like, cavalry units that are wizards. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, if somebody told me cool they were, models, like, anything, sorry. as long as they're vaguely... Rem as long as it's not like, oh, yeah, these are mounted. These are, uh, uh, you know, the cat dragons, and they're just, like, regular dudes on foot. Use them as anything. Use them as liberators. They're fancy liberators with fancy robes mm. and fancy staffs. Who cares? Like... Yeah, oh, I mean, that... the, the basic infantry you could absolutely use as liberators. Anything, yeah, yeah. anything. Secretaries, like, liberators, they all look the it, same. It, it's, the, it, it's the <laughs> same <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's like saying, oh, uh, I'm going to use my Hearthguard Berserker models as Volkite Berserkers. Is that okay? Like, yeah, of course. Like, anybody who says no should just be, like, just removed from the building. I mean, in that case, because mm, you just, because you get could get confused because that unit exists. Game, as long as they're says... not on the table, right? It's not like, oh, this unit of Hearthguard is actually yeah. Volkite. Ah, uh, yeah. This My list only Hearthguard... has... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Berserkers, yeah, sure. Exactly. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Who cares? So. 
But yeah. I mean, it's it kind of seems worse than it is because uh, you remove one kit, but it actually builds like four different units anyway. So it's, that was part of the problem is you don't need like the guys on like the cats to be concussors and tempestors and formulators and whatever. They don't need to be that many different units from one kit. It's the same problem with Sky yeah. Wardens and Engine Riggers. Just they, yeah, they but the, one for Sky Wardens and Engine Riggers, because it at least you get some troop options. Because what we have, we have yeah. Arcanauts, Funders, and these two. That's all. Well, we that's have. what I was gonna say. It's so crazy that Stormcast has so many War Scrolls and so many kit variants. But as a new army, they were trying to just get units out and fill a book. But they've given us like seven units over the course of like you know five years. Yeah. Like come on. Mm. Like, I mean, Iron Jaws have only just recently got to a decent amount as well, because before they had, like, three units as well, didn't they? It, I want some, yeah. like, cog hammer, like, melee shock troops on foot, mm-hmm. right? Like, like melee thunderers with, like, big cog, spinning cog hammers. Yeah. Like, that would be what so Big, badass. massive circular like, saws and welders and... Like, breaching mm-hmm. marines with shields. Yeah. Like, 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 like to, to go from boat to boat, kind of, is would be their role. But, like, they've got shields and combat weapons, they from just hold the line. Boat to boat. Mm-hmm. Well, who, who's her, who has boats? <laughs> Where are they going? Loads <laughs> of people have got boats, Max. Sure, like, boat. that's like that's just, in the in the law. There's loads. There's, of yeah, there's the the stuff. scrap scuttle. Yeah, the the grots and the. Chaos. There's humans. Humans have got wooden boats, and then like they are uh, like Fine. in the mo- latest novel, they found a stone horn on a metalith. Yeah, like. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Not so, sure what a guy with a shield is going to do there, but. <laughs> I don't know. They ran away. That's what they did in the book. <laughs> they ran away. Yeah, so um not sure. I wonder uh, what's going to happen to our named guy, uh, Björgen Fundrick, because they said they'll lose rules for AOS. And Dark Knight holds Well, he's gone. <laughs> he's been gone for a while, Dark Knight. <laughs> Oh, really? You can't use them as a war scroll anymore? I didn't even realize that, to be honest. No, no. no. After, no, like, with never. the last... He had, he had rules for a month. <laughs> and then they had a new GHB, and they they shushed the didn't, whole yeah, Curse City thing. Points. Never happened, and yeah. off he went. Why did I, I, I... Honestly, I don't even recall that, but I didn't even... I've never even thought about him since then, so that's probably why. <laughs> no, I have them why. I've used him, yeah. I used him as a second animal for quite some time. Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean... No. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, uh, no fun rule where he like stop monsters from moving or something but yeah he could, they could like, only use back. they could only use back. they could only use 1d6 when they charged they were hooked yeah. yeah uh they haven't said that all underworld things are being removed from age sigma so not removed but they didn't they say uh, underworld stuff will not get aos rules yeah i think they said some and then hmm. that was and it's mostly like the chaos ones because there's like a million of them that's the war crime stuff. Oh, I don't. They know. got removed to it, like I see, But I, I thought I read that Underworlds, like the the board game. Does anybody know uh, the difference between Underworlds and War Cry? Yeah. yeah, one is a board game and with card, <laughs> and the other one is a, like a skirmish game. They're both small Age of Sigma. That's what they are. Underworlds <laughs> small is like really small, and War Cry is usually a, a unit of like nine. The, or the only yeah. war base I've ever seen actually get used competitively is the the B, ironically the Beast of Chaos war brand with the uh, sorcerer who did uh, D three mortals and then plus one to hit that unit too your whole army. Rush rock uh, fell. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that, that spell is so good. What is a savage mm, bolt? Is yeah. this spell so good? D three mortals plus plus one to hit against your whole army against that unit. So good. Have yeah. you seen like mm. the Skaven one got used? Uh, gets used the, the, the Skaven um, one gets used a lot. Oh, but the, I mean, topic. but. It, if you put one model on top of the objective, that it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, but still, he gets used a lot. <laughs> really? Um, and nobody yeah. has and nobody uses them in, in, in the local meta like ever because you just put one model on the objective and it shuts. No, out. here you have seen them a lot of escaping lists. And um, the gates one, gets the, the, used? The one is <laughs> the strongest unit in that book because he just says <laughs> fight on death for thirty six squigs on drugs is pretty strong. Um, and uh, I think the corn dudes, there was a janky thing you could do because they they had an extra Easy. dog they could bring, and yeah. You just have one a unit that is one dog, and it goes, oh no, the dog died. I get a blood type point. Summon, yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah. You know, yeah. and you can move yourself the your, your units around. Um, the dog one's all right. The the shadow jumper ones. You have two units for the price of one, and they can both do um uh to surround destroy. 
Nice. Um, pleasing. So just, they, 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 see, they see some use. Didn't they have the name Hag Queen also? Was that on the world? Uh, there was at one one more silly work, point more... uh, a you, you could get a, an underworld warband that was a Hag Queen and four dudes for yeah. less than the price of a normal Hag Queen. So people were like, yeah. okay. And, and she was sure. better, yeah. Because you got a, a So it's, it was Thunder's Profiteers, but draw, draws the yeah. game version, basically. Yeah. <laughs> but useful. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, to go back to KO, I don't think most people are going to mind if Fundrix Profiteers go away. It's a, no, it's just extra models. You can still use them. I think yeah, the, you the just use them as a chemist, and then it's an the extra most... chemist. It's a uh, dear Sky Warden boss. You get an extra Thunder, and you get two Arcanos. Yeah. The most uh, edge case that I saw him being used was with Max to get the extra third unit to get <laughs> boots on the ground and uh, mobilize yep. the fleet in the gun hauler yeah. list. Like that was, that was big, the big brain like, list. Yeah, he actually <laughs> saw a, a, a like a competitive, like reasonable place in the list first time, yeah. and then he gets removed. Yeah, it was the, just the, literally the get units then he gets per killed. points value for money. That was it. Yeah, yeah, um, and yeah. and it was Fundrick. I've been using him as my chemist since I started right. playing KO. He oh, is yeah. my chemist. I've barely used the other one. <laughs> he was he was my third chemist for when that would actually have been a good oh, back in the day when like, you could yeah. stack attacks. Yeah, <laughs> and then it was literally like, well, I can't remember if you could whether it was when you could stack, but it was then it was like literally like. Two months later, they like that that got changed, and you didn't. Yeah, that was the first broke the first iteration of broke hit KO with the mortars. <laughs> the mortars are still paying for their sins. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mortar. Now everything has range. less range. But yeah, let's move into yes, uh, speaking yes. Of less range fourth edition. Cool Great ranges. Oh my god! So lots of stuff has changed. Uh, priorities changed slightly, but it's still basically the same you can get a double turn it's the most important thing people care about whether that exists um so but if you take a double turn you don't get to choose a battle tactic for that turn hmm. so and no, they the have not been quite how clear how that works yeah yeah they said they, they're revealing it this week so we'll, we'll go with mm. more more info then but mm. And they specifically said, like, if you take a double turn, implying that if you went second in the previous round and then you win the priority and choose to go first, I don't know if it will just be if you went second and then are going first, because that would be really annoying if, like, your opponent forces you to go first and you can't <laughs> nah, pick a battle. I, I, I guess it's yeah. if you really get two, two turns in a row. Yeah, and you really and it's your choice. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. Although uh, yeah, if you that's what Leah's saying. You. Can you can you force your opponent to not be able to score a battle tactic? That would be a real yeah. like yeah, that'd be, that'd be yeah. thing. I can tell you and the viewers with absolute certainty that the way in which and the amount uh, the points density in a game overall is not the same, and battle tactics will probably be worth less overall in terms of the amount of points they score and the amount of points you accrue over a whole game. So people are looking at this and like, oh my God, I won't be able to score, you know, potentially, you know, uh, two points out of 25. Two points out of 28 or five. Yeah, exactly. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be less, less dense, less rich than that. So it's not going to be as impactful (laughs) as it is now thinking about it through a third edition lens. Mm -hmm. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. (laughs) Juicy, juicy yeah. content. So that's interesting. Interesting. So does that uh, conversely mean objectives are worth more, mm-hmm. or that there's other ways of scoring points? Who knows? Mm. Maybe someone here does. Only time will us. tell. <laughs> Only time will tell. Uh, which is a like time to, <laughs> to mention that objectives are getting smaller. I'm pretty sure they put that in an article or something. Yes. 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 They're, they're becoming yes. Uh, 40k, 40K size. Yeah. So well, 40k uh, size objectives is the easy way. 40 mil yeah. base yeah. with a three inch bubble around that 40 mil base. So it's like a three inch 20 millimeter radius, which uses both but both measuring systems at the same time. It's fantastic. Mm. I goofed a couple. <laughs> I goofed yeah. a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a couple of months ago, and ordered a bunch of 40k objective markers for my gaming group. Mm-hmm. I, I just so well. I'm glad I can have a use for them now. <laughs> 
So if anyone's yeah, looking for an like, accident. Um, the twelve inch objective markers, I'm sending cheap. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> my game store, my game store has like a stack of them, like like this thick, like a yeah. freaking Bible, like. And I'm like, oh, tell no. my wife. I've got new placemats for the dinner table. <laughs> They're twelve inch round. <laughs> uh, I guess you can cut them now. What do you call the plate? Yeah, oh, but you need Server's a perfect like, circle what, and yeah. What what what, what yeah. is the plate at like a fancy dinner that you that's not used for eating off of, but other plates are taken off and put on top of it? The, uh, the charger plate. Yeah, the charger. Yeah, there you go. You got yeah. new. You got a set of new neoprene uh, non non slip chargers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, dear. I, um, I mean, I got a good use out of the the ones I bought in Prague well, two years ago. So, the, I'm really fair enough. But... The important thing about that change with the objective mark objectives is uh, it's very easy. If you, it, basically, if someone's on an objective, you can't teleport onto it, assuming the standard nine inch away stays. There you go. Um, mm-hmm. We don't know. Care will have fly high. There you go. I I would assume probably there will be some sort of mechanic along those lines for KO because it's been. I mean, a maybe both two just, books. just uh, move to. Uh, we'll just as a transport, like in 40k, yeah. like attack. I'll move forward and people can yeah. jump in and out. Uh, kind of like the R- Army of Renown did. Yeah. Oh, you you were in range of the gunholder. Gunholder goes here. You can set up near near it. Yeah. Because I, I think maybe they were uh, trying out and testing rules for that, how, how they want to do that. For yeah, you know? I mean, it seemed like it was like a, yeah. a, a test run for something. Um, and obviously, it didn't go very well because they had to change it, yeah, like, it was, <laughs> like well, a yeah. week after it, it came out. If it was jumping wow. for a gun holder, it was a bit Okay, good. so get this, get this. So um, hmm. that what did you say just now, Lee, that like they were... If, okay, so because when I was at LVO a couple of months ago... Uh, I was asked to to for uh, somebody to borrow my army, like one of the mm-hmm. um, some very important people, and mm-hmm. I was wondering. And they said they can't tell me what they're doing with it, but my army will be returned to me, and it was fine. And okay. and uh, and so I wonder if they were like trying out some like weird uh, ko uh, disembarking or transport rules or what Maybe. have you. So interesting, interesting. Mm. So. Well, yeah. Maybe yeah. they just bugged your army. Maybe they're listening right now. No, yeah. <laughs> they're listening to you to 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 the, to the juicy leaks. I am I'm really excited that the double turn is staying though. I really like yeah, the no. priority role. I think it gives AOS a lot of identity, and I think once you mm-hmm. actually learn to play with it, uh, I will say the uh, fodder on local Facebook groups about people complaining about the double turn has mm-hmm. just been so wonderful. It's just been manna from heaven. It's, yeah. it's because people treat this like a what I go you go game, and mm-hmm. then always get surprised by the double turn, and then lose games because of the double turn. <laughs> Surprise Pikachu face. You, yeah. you, you gotta <laughs> play yeah. the game with the double turn in mind. It's it's well, just yeah. part of the thing. I'm yeah. gonna go first. I'm gonna put all my models in the middle of the table, and if I get double turned, I lose. Oh, I got <laughs> double turned and lost. Oh, I hate this game. This game sucks. <laughs> Shit mechanic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Too powerful. Oh, no. so, yeah. I'm glad it's staying. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's cool. It's good. To, it's good. To keep. It's a good tactical. Um, thing, yeah. But the, the thing about teleporting onto objectives will matter regardless of whether KO fly because mm-hmm. people will have teleports. Of course. Yeah. So, so that'll be interesting. Mm, to or see deep how strikes. Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you can. Plus, yeah. they also now um, they change war scores and uh, how people score. Will be, or maybe I'm. Yeah, here, you so are jumping ahead. Slide, yeah. okay, that will sorry. be on a slide. <laughs> Come on, let's. Right, uh, so I'm prepared. The way you build armies is changing. Uh, mm-hmm. So basically, we don't have bat- battalions anymore. We have regiments, which is mm. basically it's it's a well, different thing, but it's I don't know. They could have just kept the name, <laughs> like, but but fair enough. Uh, so yeah. Each regiment has a hero, and on, it's going to be on the War Scroll card, I believe, for each hero. heroes, or maybe yeah. somewhere. It might, might yeah. be another pitch battle thing. It tells you which units that they can have in their regiments. So, uh, but can it also be two heroes? No. Uh, yeah. It, it says zero Possibly. to three non hero. Oh, we just lost Quan. One hero. Uh, so it depends. Some heroes will allow 
a, a, a hero yeah. in the regiment. Yeah. Mm. So, but typically it will be one hero and not to three non-hero units. But you might have a special hero in like Nagash. Yeah. Who will okay. then also. So if we have like, one to really five regiment, well, we're, we're standard is going to be five heroes instead of six. Or leaders, as we call them now, or maybe yeah, like people, maybe heroes. maybe battle scrolls like or war scrolls like Brock will allow you to take like engine an engine master in his regiment because yeah. you need somebody to like hold the ship together, right? And then you could, hmm. you know, yeah. whatever. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah. And your general can have four units in its regiment right. rather than three extra. Uh, pour, um, pour one out for a real homie battle regiment who's been there mm -hmm. from been with the ko faithful for <laughs> so long and has yeah. won me so many games i just want to say thank you <sighs> what was the iron sky command was that the name yeah. of the yeah that was, the, that was the old school one that was oh, the old, the old yeah. school the og mm -hmm. one drop. with the uh arcanon mm -hmm. uh combat landing mm -hmm. yeah um, no that was the frigate one no that one we still mm -hmm. have no, oh no! Yeah, yeah, the one everybody. Iron Sky Command. Units, with... yeah, yeah. free heroes. Battleshock like... Commune. Battleshock Commune. Battleshock Commune. Around the boat. Yeah. And, yeah. Kyle. Caleb, yeah, but eighteen who's inches. A, he's a yeah. frequent guest on this show. He would always like pull Arcanauts in a way where it was like really annoying to deal with, and then they're Battleshock Immune, so they just stay there. They're all scattered in a weird conga line yeah. before all yeah. those rules went away. Yeah. <laughs> um. Other cool stuff is that uh, basically battlefield roles have gone. Yeah, there's no more battle line leaders, uh, behemoths, that sort of thing. So that's no, cool. they'll control Which... all that through this. Yeah, through regiments basically, and drop yeah, down. so because uh, more, no more unit tax. Like I need free battle line. Yeah, thank uh, God. I'm it's not sure if it's philosophy. good or bad because well, it might now you'll have hero in... tax. Right. Yeah, but then it results in I'll just take this good unit. I'll just play mm -hmm. more Ragnites. Who cares about mm -hmm. battle line or ghouls and shit? Just yeah. spam those. But, but how, the, how the you thing get is, those? even though you don't have uh, yeah. battlefield roles, if say for instance you like the best list would be a chemist and loads of funders. If a chemist doesn't let you take funders in his regiment. Then, then you're going to be incentivized to take a different hero. Exactly. So. Yeah, but taking one hero is much less of a of a buy-in than three times mm. basic unit. But it's you, yeah. You but the, drops, this whole this whole thing sounds a bit like we'll just see the good war scrolls and you'll never see the other ones. Yeah, possibly because it's. Hey, if there's a system, humans will game it for sure. Yeah, and one drop is still going to be theoretically possible for some armies sure because if like a more crusher as your general lets you take other more crushers then you just have like four more crushers and it's like okay that's my army we've <laughs> come back to when aos didn't have points and you just put whatever you want on the table that's <laughs> aos fourth edition yeah. <laughs> you'll play um, nagash and marathi together as an <laughs> yeah um and yeah units not inside a regiment are auxiliary units and if you finish so, deploying first, you still get to decide who goes first in AOS 4. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, auxiliary units powerful. are basically extra drops. Yes. Because everything in, in a regiment is one drop. So, I mean, an, an important thing for KO is going to be with uh, which heroes let you take ships. Yeah, that is, <laughs> that's what I'm afraid of, that all the boats need to go into auxiliary. Yeah. And then wear high drops and you're or you'll be like, okay, I want to just take one ironclad or something rather than two ships. Yeah. Because they said that, you know, obviously fewest auxiliary units gets an extra CP per battle round. And from what I understand yeah. and what I what I know, that is absolutely huge because yeah. CP are so hard to come by in the fourth edition. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they maybe basically the, said there's maybe nothing. the code right gets really good now. <laughs> well, no, because they basically said there's no abilities that let no. you get extra CB. So, no almost everyone getting new war scrolls, like so, it's literally you're gonna get your. Or, also, oh, well, if, you if, if you are yeah. if you're losing in that battle round, you also get an extra command point. Like if you have fewer victory <laughs> points, you get. Mm. And <laughs> so, uh, somebody that I know that has uh, played a little bit of the rules, they said that there was a case where like 
uh, they w didn't want to take an objective because they wanted the extra command point next turn mm -hmm. because commands are so powerful and it's so so it's it's going to be a really interesting system. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I hope yeah, we army, don't army get those sort of weird incentives. Yeah, uh, it would certainly be like a new challenge with army building rather than just like, oh, okay, take this hero to unlock, unlock something, battle line, and then spam them or whatever. Um, and generally, I think for the game, it's going to be better that there's just not going to be like, well, everyone's taking a one drop or 12 drops. Um, it would be interesting to find out where the meta ends up as to how many drops is good. I'll, I guess it will benefit just armies with that can do one drop yeah like if you play i don't know ogres because they're like elite armies mm -hmm. will have a because it's easier to fill and those three or four yeah. or four troops yeah like if you've got hero monster army. heroes like but if you're playing gits <laughs> you'll never manage because you have so many units yeah or like soul blight for example like you'll just have yeah. more units so it's going to mm -hmm. be harder to do and we're going to have more units as well because the reinforcement, well, maybe the reinforcement limit has gone, but you can only reinforce units once. So no mm. fifteen thunderers, maximum ten thunderers, maximum six ender riggers. But you can take six times ten thunderers. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> so, you can reinforce thunderers like you can have as many. I knew it. I knew paying forty-five thunderers was the right uh, decision. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I only have twenty-five. Kron is back. I need more. Uh, I need more special weapons. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, where we will see really what heroes. Can Ooh, oh boy! Ouch. Crackly. <laughs> Ouch. Rice Krispie treats. Pouring <laughs> the milk. Okay, I think Rice it's safe to talk. Cereal. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which heroes let you take what is going to be very important. Mm. Uh, it'll be in th that day that the index drops, it's going to be just like a flurry of activity going Discord, WhatsApp, like all these different places. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. because I, they're I not dropping one book, they're dropping yeah, all of them 26 books yeah. at once. I might have to take a couple hours off of work and just be like, you know what, I'm logging yeah. off. Oh, I, I'm if that happens, to, like, my work day, day is over. Just, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Guys, this is... Plus, I need to mute like yeah. all the all. All the chats are just read through it. You just own. need to just read it rather yeah. than like getting read the weird random opinions. Real fit and real the index, then real read everything. It's gonna yeah. take you a week. Yeah, get, get your head around it and then. But that is whenever these changes drop, that's when I think uh, AOS is at the most fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People try new lists and it's brainstorm, and then you find out, oh, this doesn't work. Well, I could do this. Oh, does that work? And then you find all the the weird stuff that is unclear. So does that allow me to take 10 cannons? Maybe? Um, looking at, so I'm not sure exactly where you guys are at, but looking at, at this slide, um, I think auxiliary units, like, I, I don't, I think in tournament games, you are, you're never going to see auxiliary units. Seeing how important command points are, giving your opponent five extra CP throughout the game, by taking even one, risking that that like five CP is going to be mm -hmm. huge. That's n like yeah, especially since commands and what we just talked about, Kron, and what you're saying is they're so hard to come by. There's no abilities or sub factions or anything that gives you extra CP. Giving your opponent five over a game is massive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so to uh, take the. Like, sure, you get to take a second ironclad, maybe or whatever, whatever, whatever unit you, we need to auxiliary auxiliary but mm. it like it's not it's never going to be worth it not in in high level competitive i think um it, it really depends if what you have... need to go into auxiliary yeah. Yeah. yeah it might be that every army like the best unit practically is an auxiliary unit unless you take a really rubbish oh, i just, I just hope I, mega gargans need to be auxiliary just four auxiliary. <laughs> Fuck those. Um, but hey, guys, like, if, if we do have fly high, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a command. So it's like then you will definitely really want like <laughs> command points and then yeah. yeah. Uh, so but we'll we, they um, said there's no ability that generates extra CP. 
What about yeah, basically. abilities that let you do commands without spending a CP? Well, they haven't said that, but who mm. knows? It would be very silly of them to take out all oh, the oh, But you know who we're talking <laughs> about here. Yeah, yeah they're, they're like, oh, don't worry, here. guys. CP <laughs> generating abilities and uh, abilities that make armor saves better, those don't exist anymore. I'm like, aha, uh-huh, for how long? Yeah, until the next elf book drops, and then <laughs> no, no <laughs> ambiguity. The order book, <laughs> no more Checklist. ambiguity. Was that the, the slogan for third edition? Three CP a turn, every turn uh, for you. Uh, shout out, I'd, 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 like it's like auxiliary two different ways on the same slide here. And I'm not sure, it's written here like a million <laughs> times for me to copy. Uh, cool. Uh, okay, Max, you started talking about wall scroll changes earlier, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, talking about uh, when we talked about controlling size objectives, of, size of objectives. He's ahead of um, our ahead of the time. So we have seen this in 10th edition 40k that units now have a little number as how many, basically as how many they count to contest or control an objective. Yeah. So I assume uh, it gives them more freedom of saying not just one, two, or five, or twenty mm-hmm. as a gargant or or ten. That you can say, oh, this hero is going to be maybe a Brock will be free and a normal hero will be two. Mm-hmm. Kind of, kind of the whole benefit. Yeah, it'll be good. Um, and yeah, certain heroes, and they don't right, it's better than tying it to like wound counts because some yeah, things that was silly. they, yeah, some things build in their uh re- resilience by having lots of wounds but a bad save, and then other things mm. have less wounds but like a really good save, and so mm. it doesn't make sense. Yeah, so, I mean, it was one way to do it, but and it took us a while to move the boats from one to two to five. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe the ironclad will be, I will be like. 10 or 12 yeah yeah if the ironclad was 10 right now it would be so sweet it should mm-hmm. he should be though it should be mm-hmm. yeah it okay. is a big ship yeah uh the main thing to say about war scroll changes that is that mm, every although... unit in the game is getting a new war scroll so yeah because you... they need to rewrite every war scroll <laughs> and cancel the, the the bravery yeah uh <laughs> bravery is gone cross out they're crossing out bravery on every single war scroll and adding and replacing yeah. it with the, has the gone? I wonder why bravery has go- is that cr- bravery yeah. has gone yeah no bravery. bravery is going is is going back probably yeah will, will no be. will be oh, will be gone because i would have yeah. bravery is gone not has gone it's like has gone away uh, that's interesting that must be a british american english yes. situation I've, I've, uh, yeah, it's funny. Well, it depends from oh. what point that, the, of time the, you're it, talking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. It's weird. Well, it, it, has, it is, it is no more. Yet, yeah. It's, it's been revealed that bravery won't the, fa- the phase that yeah. was. Yeah. And so, yeah. yeah, Battleshock is disappearing as well. Uh, which yeah, is good. Be on now. From a game perspective, I'm really glad that Battleshock is going away because it was such a pendulous like moment for each turn right like if you like lost a bunch of models so your penalty was losing a bunch more models unless you just like said no right so it was either like one extreme or the other you either lost like your entire unit or they were completely fine and it was so start like starkly and very contrastingly like um Mm. different that it was just a bad mechanic yeah and bravery modifiers never did anything It's, and and demons, demons everyone and, gets plus one bravery. Like <laughs> demons and death, like it just literally didn't matter. So it's yeah. OBI literally didn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. As a phase yeah. as well, it didn't really exist a lot of the time. It's like you know, like you weren't really doing anything with your models. It was just and... end of turn. I'll roll here, yeah. spend the CP here, and uh, you yeah, need to do disease yeah. before I roll or not. It wasn't like FAs you could do things in, or it wasn't like Not that's really. when monsters could roar or something. Like yeah, yeah. it was a bit weird. So. Um, just going back to the contesting thing, mm-hmm. isn't it for the K that uh, vehicles cannot contest? I don't know. Bron, you might know this. I'm not sure. Sorry, I've played one game with my oh. with some heresy militia, and I just used artillery pieces it was great because i thought uh no i thought i remember reading this when they launched 10th edition that like mm. some uh vehicles cannot contest objectives no idea because you could literally park a tank on the objective and no one can get on it 
because of the size of it. Yeah. Somebody in the so, chat says that not every unit has a objective control stat now. So yeah, that seems so, to fit with what you're saying. That could be, could be, could be objective control zero. Boats will be okay. <laughs> zero. Well, hopefully not. But we'll yeah, see. There we go. Some units have zero, like Nurglings. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank cool. you, right. DDD Martin. Yeah, that's handy to know. Um, oh, DDD cool. Martin's here. He's cool. Yes. Shout out to and DDD so Martin. Hi to them both. Um, it's hey, quite, Bob. yeah, people in the chat have been quiet tonight. Yeah. Uh, say hi if you're in the chat. There's a few people watching. So. The best thing that um, happened to Battleshock phase is disease, Nurgle disease. That's the best yeah. thing that ever happened to Battleshock. Mm. <laughs> that's, the last thing, that's the last thing I'll say. Yeah. Um, other important war scroll changes is a big change to the way abilities work in regards to how they interact with attacks. Because basically now, because there isn't, uh, they've just got like a little space at the end of the war scroll of the, the line for the attacks that basically says like, if there's anything notable for that attack. So Which you is don't have great to like, rules writing. Yeah. You don't have to go down and then read all the abilities to see if there's anything to interact with. Yeah, no, no, do I need to be holy within or within? Or yeah. Yeah, read that, and then people yeah. just read half the rule and play yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it just crits and it has extra. Yeah, uh, everything basically the, the keyword. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, six is a, a critical hits, even if you don't have an ability, which leads me to believe that there might be ways of. Getting in a, a given a unit a buff that will give them so something like critical hits do something. Mm. Um, but there's all sorts of other things like it could say charge and it means they get a bonus on the charge, or it, if it says some infantry or whatever, then they get a bonus against infantry and those sorts of things. Uh, but the most important things are all common rules, so there's none of this like mine works this way but your this one works this way can i please read exactly how that one works because yeah do you important. have the good six inch pylon on the bad six inch yeah. <laughs> yeah do you have the yeah. good pass off ward or the bad one do you yeah. have the bellicor yeah. one yeah. or the yeah when you say that thing only works in melee do you mean it only works on melee weapons or do it only works if you're within three inches of enemy units like that sort of thing yeah uh, uh, so that's um, good. Yeah, yeah streamlining all the rules yeah. like every battle like battle uh what's it called bodyguard yeah Same for everyone now great i love Fantastic. i love you just tell phrase, your opponent i have a bodyguard safe i, okay. I love everyone the phrase knows. good pile in move do you have the yes. good one or the bad one yeah yeah there's the good six inch where you can start outside <laughs> yeah. of six inch and then move yeah exactly or yeah. just an extra inch. move yeah yeah oh or, do you have, i have the bad pile in. Yeah. yeah well you just need to be within three and then you can move six yeah yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Vince the other thing is <laughs> good and good and a bad pilot. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Vince yeah. V. Shout out to the real one. Hi. Say hello in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Common traits such as wards, fly, being a war master, uh, wizard, and um, well, actually, they probably did reveal yesterday. Whether yeah, priests they did. have a keyword. Yeah, yeah. I wrote that before yesterday. Um. I've all become keywords. Um. So wizards have a thing. This is like wizard, and then in brackets two, and that means they can cast two spells. And priests have the same thing. The um, power level, like they used to have in fantasy. No more heroic actions for you know. So that's not an ability. Mm. I spent mm. God knows how long whenever when people say about the fly keyword, saying it's not a keyword, and now now it's now it is finally a keyword. Everyone, everyone's been referring to it as the fly keyword. You were just living in fourth edition this whole time. Yeah. Well, that, no, everyone else there. was. Yeah. And I was like, no, it's an ability. <laughs> but, yeah. And now in fourth so, edition, even moving is an ability. Shooting yes. is an ability. Piling in is an ability. Everything is an ability. Everything's an ability now, basically, which is good because Will they had like a weird thing before where they said treat, treat things as if they're abilities. And it was yeah. Like, yeah. Treat Will spells do. as an ability. And yeah. Yeah. But then sometimes spells were just spells. And yeah. Were, are there going to be abilities that uh, prevent other units from using abilities in particular phases or just in general? Like all of a sudden, you all of a sudden now you can't move or you can't shoot or you can't fight or pile in or whatever. Yeah, well, Bellacor can't use ability. This still exists, and if he doesn't have something like that, it would be like a big, like narrative change or like a thematically a big change for him, wouldn't it? So, mm. but surely, yeah, it would be a massive like 
he'll waste just of design space, steal. not the block abilities. Yeah, in some way, yeah, he'll just yeah. steal command points or something. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's pull through because we're an hour in, so let's start going a bit quicker. <laughs> uh, so phases, yeah. Start of turn and end of turn are now things, apparently. Uh, all abilities are phase-linked in some mm -hmm. way. They say which phase they're in, um, when you can use them. And, and it says have... when, when they trigger, exactly. So yeah, it's pretty good. They all have little icons as well. That's fun. good. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't know what slide to put this on, so this is a good time to mention that heroic actions have been removed from the game. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah. is, um, they haven't said about just monstrous... an extra thing to do. The old man, monstrous, monstrous action. You have to do heroic, but... then this, and then they always add another layer, then primal dice. Then it's just yeah. If I had a dollar for every four plus for a command point I failed, I'd be so fucking rich. Yeah. The worst thing is, is when you spend ages trying to work out, do I need an extra command point? Do I, uh, I'm going to try and use one for this, one for this, one for this, and then you finally, go, oh, sorry. Well, actually, no, I don't need to do any other heroic action there. I'll just, yeah. And then you roll it and you get a free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've wasted all that time. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like, should I charge or not? Then you roll and you fail to charge anyway. So. Or, or it's just like, all right, uh, my is it end? Is it the end of the start of the hero phase for you? So it's my start of the hero phase. Cool. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to get a command point. Hey, I get it. I'm gonna immediately spend it for rally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, how many games did you have? Okay, start of my hero phase. I'll do battle tactic. Okay, I'll do a heroic action, and immediately your opponent jumps in and does their heroic action. Like, yeah. Okay, cool, but wait, you haven't heard yeah, my so I haven't done any other stuff yet. Yeah. Like, no, maybe you no, want to do something him, else. Let him pick. Let him pick, Max. <laughs> no. Just like... Yeah, but like maybe yeah. you want to do uh, a fine style on your hero instead. Nope. Yeah. Sorry, too yeah. late. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's Win good because it, it got cost, a bit maybe. complicated already in second edition and then third edition when they introduced this whole activation sequencing and when does what start on end yeah. of and strike first and do take turns and it's much cleaner now. It's okay. good. Do, do, you, do you think monstrous monstrous actions or monstrous rampages, whatever they're called, are going away? Because they, if you would have thought when they said that heroic actions were going away, that would be the perfect time to also say that they were going. I they assume haven't. there will be an ability on the war scroll of the monster. Mm. Well, because the, the thing is, on Nagash's war scroll that they showed, he had something that had the keyword rampage. Hmm. Okay. Well, there you go. So maybe so all big easy. models might have an ability that's some sort of rampage in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. How about the um, elephant in the room here, folks? The elephant in the room. <laughs> Units in combat can't shoot unless they have an ability to do so. Yeah. Mm. Although they, uh, which, which will be uh, pistols. Uh, yeah, they they've not revealed it in detail. It so it's speculation here, but so we I've know got... that the shaman. Can puke in combat? Yes, yeah. <laughs> that we know. Ten inch. I'm sure. Which is good things for Nurgle fine. because there's a lot of puking going on there as well. So, but yeah, it's likely going to be linked to the weapons and rather yeah. than the unit. And yeah, pistols probably you can shoot. So in, in 40k, it's it's uh, pistols. Yeah, uh, ships might get to use the carbines, the and then the keyword is pistol, and pistol yeah. allows you to shoot in combat. Mm -hmm. um, the flamers, the I'm, I'm guessing the the thunder the flamers might be able to shoot in combat, but probably not the mortars or the the rifles. Yeah, fumigators mm. would make sense, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Ko would hopefully get a lot of that ability because if not, it will be. Very if not, you can just tie up the entire army with two charges. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Do stuff. Yeah. Do you, did anybody else see that meme uh, over the weekend where it's like Doctor Manhattan on Mars and he's like walking and he's like. Oh, it's uh, third edition, and they said that it's over for KO. And then they're like, it "Goes he's in the next one." It's like, "Oh, it's Index Hammer." They said that's it for KO, and they're like, "Oh, shooting is gone in combat." And they said that's mm -hmm. it for KO. Like, it'll be fine. We'll yeah, because yeah, every time there's a new edition, the sky falls in for KO because it's like, yeah, yeah. "Oh, there's going to be lookout." So, and it's like, "Oh my god!" And then, "Oh, can't yeah. fly high on <laughs> objectives every... anymore." Like, yeah. uh, mm. okay, we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Um, no more safe stacking is what they promised this time around. <laughs> yes, they have promised. Um, the key thing here with the shooting combat is they haven't said that you can't shoot into combat. That's yeah, the that's the here. one I want to know. Yeah. Which, well, you would have thought that when they said that you couldn't shoot while in combat, that would be the good time to say that you can't shoot 
into combat. Yeah, that would have helped clear so, up things, but you know. But so, so, I'm not sure about 40k, but I think it's not allowed. And some armies can do it because yeah. they, they don't care about their underlings. <laughs> <laughs> and they just mow them down anyway, like rots or something. Yeah, we'll see. Could be. So it could be um, not allowed. Yeah. There's nothing to indicate you can't as of yet. So I'm so happy uh, safe stacking's going away. Max, I'm kind of known in my local area for taking Blast him to smithereens with Durthu while he's got plus three to save. <laughs> <laughs> it's still trying Easy. to achieve it. <laughs> Easy. You think so? I have failed it so many times, much to the amusement of all my uh my uh local my uh local meta inhabitants just, just yeah just roll just just roll just roll sixes this is all you gotta do mm. so that's uh uh another big change that's i i moved from when i the slide i had it where where i had this slide earlier when i sent it to you guys uh is because i think it's really important to cover earlier is coherence is changing mm -hmm. yes uh so it's half an inch uh of one other model and then if the unit is seven or more models, then it's half an inch of two other models. But So it's basically the same as it is mm. now, but half an inch. So half an inch less conga is lines. rough. Is rough because some models are so fiddly. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine playing Night Haunt with half an inch currency. Like, well, they, they have said that some things will them. have bigger Yeah, currency. but no, not your base blade guys yeah. come on um, i understand if no, it's gonna it be stuff like storm drake Nur nurgle uh, flies <laughs> maybe yeah. Nur nurgle flies because <laughs> yeah. that's gonna be a pain in the ass moving like six nurgle flies with half inch currency yeah, yeah seriously <laughs> um units like the units size on the board is gonna shrink essentially yeah the and screening yeah. is gonna be harder yes uh, and also, they need to be smaller. So, in general, the board is actually the playable space is going to get bigger. Kind yeah. Of. If the units and, are smaller and, and the, the the objectives are smaller, then yeah. And we have learned that you can only reinforce once. Mm -hmm. So all these free man units with six are going to be going to be fine. Mm -hmm. It's it's from they seven be... on. They need to be within two, but they're still like all. Together. They yeah. they may be better screens than like ten man unit of like a six man a six uh you know unit of cavalry would be better than like ten units absolutely organized. yeah for a screen absolutely yeah. uh, the things that really suffer from this change are things of twenty five mil bases yeah because yeah now you've got to actually do the triangle thing but even then yeah, here's the thing yeah, they yeah. never they sure. never specified when coherency is checked mm -hmm. okay so when and what if coherency is checked after you remove a model and so mm -hmm. if you you can remove one of your models and then you're automatically not coherent and then uh, all of a sudden I, you, I assume it's just going to be the same as now end of any move you how can you assume that like what what if it's completely different and then this is like such a huge change compared to just saying, "Oh, well, okay, so mm -hmm. I just have to have a smaller bow tie, right? Like the mm -hmm. the typical ten man bow tie with the two triangles yeah. at the corners. Like, what if that doesn't exist anymore? And it's not just simply smaller, but it's just not possible. And so, yeah. ten man unit or arcanauts are essentially useless for screens because mm -hmm. you just can't function that way. Yeah, maybe the role will change. Now they are the objective grabbers because they count as two on an objective. Exactly. So their yeah. role changes. And that's why, like, mm -hmm. that's what I mean. Like this this coherency change is like impactful to so much more like downstream. Yeah. yeah. Uh Bob Goblin in the chat mentions that there's uh pretty much no reason now not to use movement trays. <laughs> Good point. Because Good point, Bob. Yeah. Uh, there's some other things we haven't covered yet that will also impact with that, but yeah, uh, which Bob. we can mention now. Actually, is that everything now has like basically three inch range of melee. So, so yeah, the, you, the whole piling is less important, less tedious. So, so I'm in combat. Still... Everyone is in three inches. Yeah. Let's go. Although it's yeah. still not 40k in piling, where once you hit base contact, you can't move anymore. You can still mm. move around Slide. bases and stay, stay. Uh, yeah. The same the equidistant to the to the target, so you can kind of How, slingshot yeah. yourself. However, um, the important thing is uh, that I noticed you cannot pile out of a combat. 
Yeah. Like if you're in combat or range of two units, uh, you cannot now use your activation. Oh, I'm just going to pile out of yeah. three inches and you can't do anything yeah. with that. Your other unit, uh, that's not possible anymore. You need to be within combat range. Mm -hmm. with the other I, so it takes away some tactical. We'll circle yeah. back to piling a bit in a minute. Because Good idea. I've got Good a slide idea. for it. <laughs> um, it was more just to mention the fact that it's you don't need to come off your trays when you're piling in and stuff so much now. You can this just, is going to be the annoying thing about moving trays is you like it's fine when you're moving units and then as soon as you're in combat, it's like okay, well now it's just a hindrance. Abandoned moving tray, abandoned yeah. tray. <laughs> yeah. Uh and or if you want to string out for the screen, like, oh well then the moving tray is no good, but if you can't string out, then it doesn't matter. Um cool. Uh other thing that happened is now if you retreat, you take D3 mortal damage, because that's what you call mortal wounds now. Um how would this work with embarked units? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> I, sure I know, I know we will find out, but yeah, I mean, I know, I yeah. know, of course, you don't even know, but yeah. I'm just curious. Like, that'd be really interesting. Like, oh, yeah, if everything I, takes yeah. D3 mortal wounds, that yeah. could be mm. uh, fun. It's like playing Fountains of Frost. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh, no, 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 what's it called? Uh, ice Fields. Sorry. Ma ice oh, fields. I was going to say, yeah. I was going to say, Max, yeah, because I hope you haven't been taking. I had to like uh, inform my the judge about that, that like if you're in a ship on Fountains of Frost, that they can't, they can't get caught being blown up because they don't no, count they as don't contesting. Contest. Yeah. 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 Every, I have to do, uh, my opponents always they're like, ah, take some damage. And I'm like, no way. Mm -hmm. And I have to explain it to them. Yeah, because yeah. you're not yeah. the, the fun one yesterday on the the battle plan where when you kill a wizard. I killed yeah. a wizard with 14 wounds. So oh, everything course. within 14 inches, which was basically my whole army took, took, took damage. And I killed like two wizards that phase <laughs> that turn. And then it's like, damn it. Mm. <laughs> Uh, do, you ever, do, you, do you ever see a gargant nuke go off on one of those? <laughs> gargant with a with a with an arcane tome and just <laughs> 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 the whole board just. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when Sauron dies at the beginning of Lord of the Rings Fellowship at the battle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Massive yeah. explosion. So good. Um... Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is like <laughs> sort of interesting that you take some damage now. I mean, people used to. There's a there's a trade off, uh, right? Like, yeah, because retreating is very powerful. Like, I wonder cool, if if you that. retreat, yeah. you still. I wonder if you retreat, you still contest. Yeah, because people that was the main thing is people would retreat onto an objective or something. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but I mean, we don't know for certain that. So, but yeah. Um, Cool. No, we haven't revealed much else about movement yet, except for a load of abilities have the run keyword. So, presumably, I mean, believe what, what, what I'm seeing you can't retreat. run and shoot or run and charge. Pardon? Um, what I'm seeing with retreat so far, I don't see retreating stopping you from doing things like shooting, charging. Well, I think the, uh, it I does. Think it the, does. It does stop charging because does, charging yeah. says you cannot have retreated. Yeah, um, I think the the it's tied in with the keyword and either other yeah. abilities or the or the core rules. So the same with things having the run keyword. You can't the... have things with you can't use two abilities with the same keyword. I think in a in a phase, which stops you from being you know doing a move and then a retreat ability in the in the same phase essentially. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. maybe you can okay. retreat and shoot now as a as a as a general. Just retreat thunderers, blank. Hmm? Not okay. sure. If it's we'll a general to thing. We'll have do. to see. I don't think we've seen the shoot ability. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen how shooting. Yeah, not yet. Hard. Shooting will be an ability, like everything, yeah. I guess. Cool. Uh, moving on. Um, abilities now will have keywords. You don't, we don't need to look into these abilities, but like spells, you know, as a spell keyword. Mm -hmm. This is the one with the rampage keyword. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Yeah, but it's hand of dust. Uh, it's kind of a, a spell. Used no, but it's spell. not a spell anymore. It's an ability. It doesn't have the spell keyword. So it's now it's just an ability, mm. and it's got the rampage keyword. So that mm. might be what's replacing monstrous rampages, and it's not just uh -huh. monsters. Yeah. And it has to be it has to be in combat with Nagash, not just like through a fucking spell portal yeah. anymore. Yeah. Sad, sad. Yeah. Uh, this is interesting because they basically told us, oh, these are all the icons for abilities. And then... They gave us an ability with a different icon that they haven't explained. Um, 
So is that presumably, list lead, does it have passive on that list? Uh, like a couple slides ago. No, no. So, <laughs> so they they missed one. <laughs> passive. Well, I I my presumption is this because replaces uh damage tables. Yes, basically, and um, you'll have just one thing like, and it says, oh, if you take this much damage, then something happens. So this is Nagash's. If he's taken ten or more wounds, then yeah, he can't. He can cast three less spells. Yeah, power mm -hmm. level one. It, it yeah. specifically says power level. Yeah, which is how many spells you can yeah. cast or whatever. Yeah, or no. unbind and yeah. yeah. So, uh, but other thing, uh, you know, other monsters might have something very different. Ships might have a thing that says they can move less or they can shoot less or something. Mm. But rather than having it be or trust like less, three things, yeah. It's a, yeah. Rather than it be like three things, it seems like it'll probably only be one thing for each unit. Which yep. is good because there's less things to remember. And there's normally only one thing that's the one thing that really matters anyway. Like who cares if you have less boarding weapons on your frigate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So these keywords are going to be very useful. I think quite often now when you get like a new war score or a new unit, you'll be like, quickly look at the keywords for the abilities to see it's going to be so easy to write your cheat sheet you just go through your war scrolls and mm -hmm. you say oh all the yellow ones uh, okay right yes down. all the blue ones uh, okay <laughs> right <now. laughs> uh cool uh commands have been streamlined a bit because there's no restrictions on who can issue them so boats can issue commands to themselves now Woo! hey they already can well yeah but they can only <laughs> issue certain ones to themselves now they can yeah on that defense or whatever. So that's so, good. Uh, yeah. Very um, good. Um, and then, yeah, yeah they basically, yeah, cost command points. One CP, so if you're under down points by one point, you get more CPs. Is that worth it to do? No. That would be interesting. I, I kind of don't like that when you get like these weird incentives to be like, okay, well, I'm not going to play to the play and get as, as many points as i want this turn because then i can get an extra cp that i, I find oh, well, incentive no i love it it's yeah. just the brain the brain the big mental game yeah, yeah, like brain yeah yeah because then ah oh, but then i can do this super command in the next turn and then i'm gonna kill him anyway and it's gonna play be 40 chest maybe and he or he's missing that extra cp that he needs mm -hmm. to achieve this yeah it's like that battle plan we have now, where it's like, then you can remove an objective, and it's like, yeah, uh, it's just a bit silly, really. But um, it's course. not as big a deal as that as removing an objective, you know. But um, and some commands will cost more than one command point as well. Ones, yeah. Well, we, we we they do the the counter charge does. We've seen yeah. that one. So that's important to know. Uh. So yeah, so get ready for fly high costing like six. Or <laughs> <laughs> oh, something, who knows? Uh cool. So let's look at some commands because there's a lot and there's some fun ones. Uh oh no, wait, there's some other stuff first. Oh yeah. The using abilities is split into declaring them. Um, and then it's after you declared it that some people can do abilities that are reactions. Mm. Because um some command abilities and some normal abilities reactions. Command abilities are used at the end of the phase. Um, not normal abilities. Which is mm. where there's been some confusion. Um, so, yeah, you declare it, Very then simple. there's reactions, and then people resolve, then you resolve the effects. Very simple. Um, nice and easy. And that's good, because that was, there was always points of contention of when abilities interacted. and. Mm -hmm. At this particular point, or this, point, oh, yeah, there's a lot of discussions about that on WhatsApp. Um, cool. Uh, so rally cost one command point. Um, again, same, you don't you have to be outside combat, but now you just roll six dice, regardless of how many units have been killed or, or died or whatever. Um, and it doesn't even matter because you could heal with this now. And for each four plus, you get one rally point, which you can spend. Uh, either to heal one wound or one hit one HP because they're not wounds anymore. Mm. Um, or yeah, it's to a mix of rally, back. heal, and heroic recovery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is quite good. It's like a nice, like, you can just, like, 
it, it will always have an application. Yep. Which is good. Um, and you can use Rally to heal Gotrek. So far. <laughs> yeah. So no. far. <laughs> I mean, Gotrek might be removed from the game. For it's interesting enough, that but... you can remove slain models and they don't, they can be five, six wound models. Doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I like that because it makes it just more simple and clean and you don't have to do math like, mm-hmm. oh, how many Blight Kings can I get back if I can, if I have 10, you know, and you can't get, you know, or whatever. Yeah. So I like that. It's, it's nice. Mm-hmm. It'll be fun. Four plus rally is fun, yeah. so I'm glad everybody has it. Now, I don't just get to lord it over everybody I play against. Yeah, yeah although, it's limited to although, six it, it dice, does. So. Yeah, it's of course. limited of course. to six dice, and it's, uh, you can spend a number of rally points equal to the health characteristic of that unit to return a slain model. Which means so, an average three. An average three, mm-hmm. so that will give you one like One thunderer. Right, right. Mm-hmm. They count so one it's... to one for wounds, or health. Yeah. Yeah, and the maximum you can bring back is six, so which is less than it is now. Two. Oh, so, I see. Yeah, no, that makes it. sense. That, 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 <laughs> no, I mean six six rally points. Yeah, is, which equal yeah, to, yeah. I think they're three yeah. ones. Like four. Four. Yeah. Four. Oh, well, then so, you, you bring back one. Yeah. Can you bring see, one and a half? No, you can't, right? No, you bring uh, one and you can heal uh, wounds. Yeah. So you'd have to spike mm-hmm. the roll to even get one of one of your, your black yeah, kings. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. I brought back nine Arconauts the other day. I literally just rolled nine dice and just like every, <laughs> si- every single one was a four up. Oh, <laughs> it was all like fives and sixes. It's so good. Yeah. You thought so you good. killed the squad? Shame. Yeah. They just yeah, sat there for the rest of the game. Nothing, and but... it, I mean, the big change here is you're not going to be lucky and bring back two Varengard or a dragon yeah. or yeah. So stupid like that. Yeah, they're nothing. I, I, until uh, a, a army book rule messes with rally and goes, oh, with with gits sure. you can actually roll twelve dice, or they yeah. come back on threes, or yeah, or you can do it twice. You can do the rally command twice. There's a hero yeah. you can do it twice. Or, yeah, okay. Realistically, this might end up for KO being better to heal boats or heroes. Yeah, potentially. Ooh. Good for little yeah. heroes. Get a could nice. Be, four. Could be the boat healing mechanic now. Yeah. So. Oh, I hope um and redeploy is basically the same except for uh, it has a little run keyword you don't you which also probably don't means you can't shoot and charge ah uh, yeah running could do a shooting so. but uh, you you don't need to um uh have an enemy unit within nine to redeploy you can just, you can just redeploy yeah yeah, yeah. But, and it's end of phase so it's not triggered by the movement. yes yeah. Just, it just happens and so yeah. in the movement phase of redeploy. Teleport yeah, the, charge is harder, right? Because they can it, just redeploy away. Yeah, and the important thing for KO if we do get a fly high is that they can then move more than more than nine inches away. So you teleport to nine inches away and they're like, oh, the end of the phase, I'm just gonna redeploy further away. So your nine inch charge is now like an eleven inch or twelve inch mm. charge or um True. whereas True. before they couldn't because it's a setup. So. Yeah, but it's gonna cost them one one point. Yeah, but if it, yeah, if it keeps your unit alive, then it's it's worth it. Uh, so yeah, and you can't do other things like, uh, in some ways, it would be easier to stop people redeploying because you can sort of surround them if you need to. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you've got someone big, angry dwarf that only moves four inches, that's got ginger hair, um, you don't want people redeploying away from him. Uh. But yeah, so that will be interesting to see what happens. That will it will it takes away this annoying thing of like I've moved this unit. Do you want to redeploy? Okay, now I'm going to move this uh, unit. Yes. Do you Absolutely. want to redeploy? That's very a very good point. I hate yeah. it because you don't want to point them towards like you should redeploy. <laughs> but you also it's, don't want to. It's in your benefit. Do it, but I don't. I don't want to. Anything. I don't want to <laughs> like give you tips. Mm-hmm. But still, I need to wait for you to. Actually... So I just tell my opponent, like, whenever you want to do something, just you know, <laughs> yeah. stop me and shout, tell me. Shout, yeah, stop mm-hmm. me at the point. I'm just gonna start continue moving. Yes. yes, I finished moving this unit. Would you like to measure how close they are? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that that's a good point. Yeah, great. Yeah, great change. Cool. Uh, and then the big ones, covering fire, fire, which basically Ooh. is shooting your opponent's turn and replaces Unleash Hell. Hell yeah. And is Hell yeah, let's go. Yeah, this is a big one for KO and some other armies. Uh because it, it, it's not only shit, because it's not in combat. And it yeah, has to well, be the nearest. Yeah. It has to be the nearest. Yeah. 
it, it's taken the place of Unleash Hell from the game, though, isn't it? Like, because hmm. that, well, first of all, it's, Unleash Hell is not existing anymore, as far as we know. I think they pretty much, they, I'm pretty sure they said it's not going to yeah, exist. Yeah. They've, they've shown all 10 commands, so unless it's free now <laughs> and it's just on a war scroll for KO or something. Uh, Might be. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, you don't have to be in combat. Um, uh, in fact, you can't be in combat because of how shooting works now and it actually says um pick a friendly unit said not in combat but yeah which oh, is weird but that means now you, you can do it on 24 inches yes. yeah <laughs> you it's just you just, can yeah, shoot you in have your to shoot the closest phase. thing okay. yeah exactly yeah you just shoot at the end of the enemy shooting phase uh so this gives more incentive to shoot your opponent's shooting units because shut off their shooting phase shoot you back be before right. you charge um um and yeah it's gonna be really good for long range shooting yeah but this is enemy enemy they're changing all the range all the range in general for missile attacks or spells range damage is being reduced across Mm -hmm. the board across the game so i would be shocked if 24 inch shooting attacks even exist anymore um, they, they so they, they said in the article we're reducing range, but then they showed off that Stormcast chariot, <laughs> it's got the same range as it does right now. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but Maybe. covering so fire they, is great because you units should longer range will benefit from this more, won't they? Because, yeah, of course, like now, at the moment, now it's like okay, I have to charge you to give you the option to shoot in my turn. Now it's just like, oh, you get to shoot my turn. And if something's got really long range and they've got like one really good unit that can shoot, it's like they might just pick off a screen, or you've got to be very careful where you move because you've actually only move a hero and they happen mm. to be the closest thing to that thing with like 24 inch range. It's like, yeah, um, yeah, but then you can play around. So it's like, I put some now we have these units like Ether Wings to eat on the shell. Now you just place it to that sh- closest to that shooting unit. I said, Oh, you want to do covering fire? Only you can all you can shoot is that these birds because they're the closest. Yeah, <laughs> it's sacrificial. Um, I like Stormcast yeah. just having a flock of sacrificial birds. Yeah. It's, wanna... it's fell bats, Ether Wings, whatever. Why dogs. are they always winged animals? Mm. What does GW have against uh, the well, you can use <laughs> yeah. cheap, fast units? I want to pull something out from the chat um, uh, because Jangaroo, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, says redeploying cover and fire works too if you see an opportunity. Uh, I think presumably not based on the fact that redeploy has the run keyword. Correct. So presumably you won't be able to shoot in the same in a turn you've Uh, run. Because it counts like you've run. Because the covering fire has the shoot keyword. Yeah. uh, Yeah. uh, We haven't seen. The run ability yet, or right. you know, right. the core wars, presumably, right. you know, running has always resulted in not being able to shoot. Um, and the same with counter charge, like the same thing will apply there. You couldn't redeploy and then counter charge because counter charge is going to be scary because that's that's we don't we don't want that. We don't want if 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 our ranges are like 12, 9 inches, we need to get close, <laughs> yeah. And then you it's get charged. Fun. It's fun because now basically you're giving everyone kind of charge. Positioning mm. will be so key. And when mm. you make your charge move to not to either not allow a counter charge or to be like, okay, I'm comfortable with you spending a command point to try to roll a 10. Mm-hmm. Or your your opponent can at the end of your move, you know, you, you move up to shoot them. Points. You move up to shoot them, they redeploy closer to you, and then they charge you. Yeah. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Although that will cost him three command points. It will, but if it gets our on in, then uh... mm-hmm. maybe if it gets Cotric, yeah. If he's good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, yeah you, let's see if they get. Hand, let's see if they get the god tier. Uh, the god tier war scrolls right because uh, mm-hmm. Ar- Archaon miss, uh, Alario miss, uh, Marathi. And... Yeah. Uh, DD Martin points out the chat. It's, it's interesting that it doesn't require a charge first from the enemy to count. No, charge. this is this is like yeah. Lotkin, like different yeah. phase, but you don't need to charge, you just need to be there and they can charge. Yeah, whereas Night Hunt, uh, not Night Hunt, Legion of Night and OBR Mortis mm-hmm. Praetorians require you to actually finish a charge. Mm-hmm. That's a great frame from Matt there. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, he's frozen. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, obviously, things could change, but I, I really like the idea of countercharging with a frigate <laughs> because you just do a bunch of mortal wounds and everything will get fight first. Because you'll get them that out. If that's it, yeah, if, if it I all exists it, but... and Richard, no. but yeah, if it doesn't, then it's but, yeah, countercharging. Presumably, I mean that's only... uh, that's the whole um, Manfred thing. Instead of redeploy, he can counter charge and he gets fight first. Yeah, that's why he's so good. Uh, but yeah, because if you don't have fight first, then your opponent stuff's gonna fight before you anyway. So unless you're counter charging with something survivable, yeah. But then yeah. they maybe have three or four engagements, and they need to pick engagements. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So we'll see. But yeah, anything with fight first or like three d six charges is gonna be really good. Yeah. Or 3d6 yeah. charge Scarbrand if he keeps his 3d6 charge. Mine. Yeah. Because yeah, um, yeah, the, the yeah, you don't have to be. Seems, for 3 CP, it's costly, but it's I think it's very worthwhile to if you, if you get that off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially if you get bonuses when you charge and you know you're going to get. Like, it'd be interesting if your opponent moves towards you in order to charge. And then fails their charge, and they were like, "Hmm, should I spend us two CP to charge you back?" Um, and yeah, uh, cool. Let's move on to some other powerful ones. So, magical intervention basically lets a wizard or a priest cast or chant a prayer in your mm -hmm. turn. Uh, so that'd be annoying, <laughs> but and it's in your hero phase. So it's before you get to move away from them and stuff, but well, that is strong in some cases. I'm yeah, and let me Zinch hat uh, on. I'm very excited for magical intervention. Yeah, let me mm. fast forward to the to the future part of the show where we point out that prayers can't be stopped at all. You just can't mm. stop someone doing a prayer, unlike magic where you can unbind a spell. So yeah, that like if you've got a, a priest that can then. Do something very good in your opponent's turn. That would be very good. Um, cool. And then power through is a complicated one, but uh, mm. it's at the end of the turn. Uh, you have to have charged that turn in order to use the ability. And you pick a unit in combat, so you have to charge, not kill the thing you charged, or kill the mm. thing you charged, but also then be in combat with another unit. Um, um and you have to pick an enemy... Oh, no, wait, you pick an enemy unit in combat. Sorry, you don't have to be in combat. Um, and then target has to have lower health than the unit you it's want to use it with. So you can't do it with, like, Arcanauts or something. You need to do it with, like, a frigate or a big monster. And then you inflict deep through mortal damage on the target. And then you move any distance up to your movement characteristic. Just wherever you want, basically. <laughs> so you just get... A Free move at the end of the turn. Which this is, is basically could... the uh, truck of um, heroic action. Yeah. The Except for the fact if you've got a really good, if you've got a really fast unit, <laughs> like they can get very far. And if there is something like a monster that counts as quite a lot of models on an objective, it could be very good to like just suddenly just pick on to an objective. Uh, and to get out of combat so you can charge next turn as well. It's basically get get out of combat. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a free re it's like a retreat and charge mechanic as well. Because it's in if you do it in your opponent's turn, then and it's your turn and you and you get the double turn next or whatever. But you know it's your well, turn next. You need because... to have charged uh, but again, yeah. Free yeah. Free CP. Mm. Yeah, but you could have counter charged and then you have charged. So and the charge and then D3 and then move through. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's some fun. It lets you charge something else. Like, you've used free CP on one thing then, but yeah. That's it, it, what is, This uh, could it be is a gotcha cool. because people think they've got an objective and all of a sudden a monster ends up on it. Yeah. With with like a gar it, it, This would be very powerful for Gargans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mega Gargans. All of a sudden there's like a billion models on the objective. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Next, uh, just basically, basically, just want to point out that uh, war score abilities can buff commands. So, 
we've seen the example of the one uh where uh it buffs the uh Charmed. the uh the uh, the one we we're just talking about what's it called what's what's it called power through that's it um so that's cool um oh matt's back welcome back matt um interesting also as well to see the addition of oh i've actually crossed it out rather than underlined it but the addition of rolling a d3 and then doing something on a two plus that confused so many people i know <laughs> oh yeah now i get it yeah so oh, basically because yeah. it's the like the whole like yeah i know bob two no two plus is even the one so yeah okay. so you need to roll a three you, if you're doing it with a d6 dice you need to roll a three plus and you but you it will never do one mortal wound basically it's like the the thing they did with d6 roll a d6 and then do those on a two plus yeah yeah, yeah. The like the wounds. like the uh mine yeah yeah but it's yeah everyone's like so oh yeah, but it can do one plus. more wound it's like no it can't <laughs> uh but yeah it's uh yeah it's it's a lot it's it's gonna confuse so many people i think until they get their heads around it just to save one dice roll oh matt's gone again um maybe he's got he must have internet problems but yeah we it seems like a lot there's gonna be a lot of stuff that isn't very unique now war schools and they're gonna be interacting with stuff that already exists a bit more with core special rules yeah 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 i mean commands and that's good i think yeah proof because you can just tell your opponent yeah my chariot does uh does this ability the only difference is it does d6 damage or something yeah whatever but they they immediately understand what you're talking about Yep. Instead of telling him, oh, I have this ability, end of comma, on a 2+, plus, my mustache guns do the mm. free mortal yeah. wounds, any unit within 3 inches, mm -hmm. blah, 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 just, you know. Yeah. Cool. Um, moving on to allegiance abilities. Uh, sometimes battle traits will be commands now. You kind of already had a bit with KO, um, but it'll be interesting because there's even more need for command points. Um, battle formations are replacing sub factions, yeah, just a new name, really. Uh, although they're not linked to the law so much. And in the article, they, they might be, they might be called barracks on battle. Formation. Yeah, well, I, I think the point is they're trying not to do that. They even said it's oh, it's not linked to paint schemes, yeah. They're really trying everyone, to not that every anyone did that anyway, but yeah, no one. <laughs> in age of sigmar cares yeah plus they, most um, armies do not have a paint scheme for a sub faction it's only ko cities obr and that's it. i mean the corn theoretically the one corn unit is the darker red than the other one like <laughs> come on no one ever you just paint your models yeah. whatever you like it's yeah. not like space marines space marines no. were the only one where it was like really yeah like iconic like you, you you have a red space when you say it's an ultimate people are going to look at you weird but yeah, anywhere yeah, else it's yeah. like it's, i mean i have a, I have a paint scheme on these that doesn't even exist in the lore so mm -hmm. same them, like uh, my, my ko silver gray um but yeah, yeah. You, you, you go if you had a purple ko and you go ah oh, this is barrack zilfen people be like yeah cool sure whatever mm -hmm. i don't i don't know what a zilfen is yeah, well, I hope it... what is a Zilfin? Yeah, I hope it or Ziflin, as some people are saying. <laughs> um, yeah. I hope though it means that a lot of allegiance abilities they actually just approach them more from the perspective of how do we want what play style do we want to give the players as opposed to oh, well, they've got this thing in the law, so we need to do something that fits with that. Um, so that yeah. might it's, be it's cool. You haven't you don't have the battle line or whatever restrictions and mm -hmm. you just get uh you can be the more combat -y ones and uh, yeah. you can be the more command point ones and yeah. you can be the whatever army uh, um yeah and they said every faction is going to have a pack deck of cards a deck of cards or a pack of cards not uh, a pack deck of cards um and yeah. each faction will each faction pack will have four battle formation cards. So basically, every army's got 
four sub factions now. Mm -hmm. Which begs the question: Who's if they get the axe, yeah, oh, who's losing it? <laughs> Come Barrett on, Barrett Fring, Mornar, <laughs> Barrack Fring being demoted, <laughs> yeah, and Barrack Mornar being cast out into the Chaos Dwarf. No. I mean, if we if we yeah. say it's not, but if it is high port related. Yeah, it might it's just be gonna like, be this is this is the attack formation. This is the yeah, defensive formation. Attack squadron and the Grunstock something and the Yeah. Yeah. I just hope that the cards are not like we have to like play Yu-Gi-Oh and Warhammer at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I You've activated the, my trap card. <sighs> Bam. I think, the, I think the cards is just like the war score. Just, I hope, I that, I hope it's just is, good marketing. It's just yeah. a reminder. And yeah. they're gonna be sold out like a game day one. Yeah, of course. I think it's oh, so yeah. you can hand it to your opponent. Go, this is what my army does, and then that's quite. Well, you like it also open the book and... I can do the. Yeah. I can do my code write impression and just point at my book. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. And then do it angrily, like ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then pistol <laughs> whip him with your battle though. <laughs> ability. So... That's, an, that's an ability now. Pistol whip your yeah. opponent with your rules. <laughs> <laughs> Code right unlocked special special powers. Uh, but yeah, I hope KO will get some good battle formations because they'll be important. Or oh, Matt's frozen <laughs> again. He's just <laughs> oh dear. Uh, like yeah, no. So, I mean, hopefully one will be like an aggressive melee one, like Zon, and then there'll mm. be uh, I don't know, like a ship battle formation maybe, and then uh... yeah, like. We'll see. Know. We'll see. But, we're, yeah. it's, but I assume it's going to be minor things. Already, yeah. we have seen them tune down sub factions to a paragraph. It used to be a page with command traits, artifacts, command ability, passive yeah. ability. Um, and then they said, oh, it's going to be get plus one to hit and wound on charge. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it might be something like that now. Like yeah. Your formation. Here, whatever. Uh, whenever you you count as two when contesting, mm -hmm. yeah, something like that. Yeah, we'll add one to the uh, yeah whatever. Yeah, add one on the war or, or, yeah, or, or archonauts in this thing will count as double. Like yeah. just do the the code thing, basically. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, there's not much we can really. See. Yeah, but they did show some of the Stormcast ones, the Stormcast some, yeah. show. So, um, and we haven't seen is the KO ones. So, Stormcast, which I think is an actual YouTube channel these days. There is a Stormcast uh, focused one. Storm right? Keep. Storm Keep. Storm, Storm Keep. Yeah. yeah. Um, who let me down? Because I'm sure they. I watched a video of theirs recently, and they said there were 77 War Scrolls. So ah. they let me down on that. Uh, maybe it's an old thing I watched. Uh, combat. <laughs> uh, Charges now you don't have to be within twelve inches to attempt to charge. Mm. Now, so now you need to be within twelve <laughs> within twelve and a half inches, effectively, because you have to end that within half an inch. Unless you've got unless, like plus one to charge. Yep. Yeah, you got bonuses to charge, and then you, so if you've got like yeah plus two to charge, you could try and charge from like fourteen inches away if you want to, which would be cool. Mm. It makes bonuses to charge better, and they're already very good. So. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and I guess that will get rid of any, if any. If there are 3D6 charges, there was like the good 3D6 and the bad 3D6 charge where the, mm -hmm. at some point there were some units that had like a 3D6 charge, but they couldn't attempt it from 18 inches away. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, there's not much else to say about charging and fighting. It's just you pick a unit in combat or that charge and they get to fight, you get to pile in. And yeah, do your combat attacks. Uh, man, it's back again. <laughs> so, back sorry, again. sorry about that. I promise you, uh, we're uh, stabilizing the antennas here. <laughs> <laughs> um, the interesting thing is that they gave everyone three inch weapon range, but you still get to pile in, which I will have come out. Um, which is it's, it's almost like they, they streamlined it, but they thought, oh, we better still let them pile in, which is. So, right yeah. before it would be easy, and right be... before right before this they gave blight kings two inch reach in the faq like right yeah. before like it, yeah um... you know who else got free inch range now alario's bug yeah 
like two weeks before everyone will get rich. Yeah. Finally, after what four years, he gets it with those giant Hercule beetle horns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I One mean, the free range is going to be pretty huge because it's like you can't just put a hero right behind a unit now. Yeah. They've got to be significantly further back. Um, and a lot more stuff will get to fight. I mean, obviously, units aren't going to be as big, but yeah, units not as big. They all yeah. are clumped together, yeah, because of the half inch currency. And it removes the discussion of, is this guy within one inch or not? Like, ah, if I pile around like this, maybe yeah. I can get him. You're Just still going to have the discussion. Everyone. You get the three inch, inch, are they in? Yeah. But with 10 models, let's say average 10 models per, per unit, mm. maybe 20. It's only maybe. now going to matter. Most people will units. be in. Yeah. Yeah. Most people because if you have a big unit, point. then it'll be like, then you have to have a discussion whether they're in three inches or not. And then, like, oh, if I pile in there. And then. And that is, I think that is the narrative thing they also want on the battlefield. Like, these two units are clashing. Everyone is fighting. There's not like, you let your friends fight. I'll wait at the back and let's see if there's a spot yeah. open. I'll open and fight. Like, that's yeah. what happens in the old world. That's when they fight in regiments, but not in AOS. Everyone yeah. has to club. Everyone. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, and then so the combat phase is a little bit different to the other phases yeah, because you have weird. you have to take into account the way fighting works. So you use because uh, normal abilities, yeah, fight abilities basically happen. You so you use you use all your abilities that aren't fight abilities, correct? And then mm -hmm. your opponent uses all their abilities that aren't fight abilities, then you alternate fighting abilities unless anyone's got any fight first or fight last, and mm. then you use command abilities at the end unless the <laughs> reactions. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's as easy as one, two, three here, except for the fact there's like four things that aren't mentioned there um, on their little picture. But, yeah. Because if it just, if you market it as simplistic, or more simple, yeah. it will be, despite yes. what actually ends up happening. I mean, basically, yeah. this is Water all fight. what used to be start of combat phase. Like, yeah. uh, I grant an extra attack. I give you fight last. I get yeah, whatever. exactly. Uh, Some sort of same. action that monsters get to do at the start of the combat phase. Yeah. That replace it, monsters it's action. the same. Yeah, just, I get to do all mine. You get to do all yours. Mm -hmm. And then we fight. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's, it's interesting it says some abilities such as fight abilities allow unit to make a pile in move so indicates that there will be uh other abilities yeah, other ways to pile in spend the yeah. blood hive to pile uh, to pile yeah. in and fight in the in the hero phase yeah uh piling has changed a bit as well uh each model, yeah, each model has, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you, you have to pick to, a target you know. unit now. That's the main thing. You pick yeah. a target unit. Yeah, and then when you pile in, you have to pile in closer to that unit. Yeah, rather than necessarily the closest. Correct. Uh, yeah. Internet issues. Yeah. Yeah, same here, Kron. See, we're so close together. We established yeah. this before the show started. Well, basically, we're so close. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Same yeah. Wi-Fi. <laughs> When I lived in Northern Virginia, that's where like all of the North American Western Hemisphere internet is like, um, is where it's processed when it comes. And so uh, uh, there were always internet issues right in Northern Virginia. It's like, but we're right at the source. Matt doesn't know I'm actually streaming this from inside his house. Oh my God. <laughs> You know, it's funny. This combat ability sequence is kind of like an episode of Dragon Ball Z, where both the heroes are just powering up, like right in front of each other, and then they go and, and then they're like, "Okay, now we'll go and fight." Yeah. Uh... Um, but uh, with pylons, even though you pick a target unit to pile in towards, you still can't pile out of combat, which is what you were saying Correct. earlier. No, yeah, you can't, yeah, right. you can't leave. Yeah, which you could, you can do at the moment in. In third edition, so yes, that's uh interesting. Um, okay, uh, and then, then there's a distinction for if you're not in combat that you can just move three inches in any direction, yes, which is a good change because 
in theory, if not, you'd be measuring to see like, oh, am I closer to this unit that's 18 inches away or this one that's like 18 and a half inches away? And therefore I have to pile in closer towards that one. Mm -hmm. Whereas now if you just pile in and, and then you kill a bunch of stuff, you can just move three inches wherever you want. Um, if, you, if you kill them with another unit, I mean, um, which is cool. Could get which is basically item. you go in and they, they're blocking the objective. You kill them. Yeah. Now you guys can actually move on to your objective and don't need yeah, to. Yeah, rather than have to pile your away from it. Field, yeah. yeah. So that's good. It's a good change. Yeah. Uh, cool. And then moving on to yesterday's article, which is all about magic uh, and various forms of magic. Yeah. So We don't do that here. Well, we might. We <laughs> might do. You never know. We might not do with, not with the Encantor dead. <laughs> the Encantor's still alive, isn't it? No, no he's no, dead. He's gone. I thought... Well, there was not only certain versions of the encounter that died. Uh, no, he's, he's, he's part, of part of the pack. Spectre Sanct pack. So yeah. he's that model he's can only be bought in that uh, box. I'm sorry, Lee. No, but there was he's more gone. than one version of the encounter, wasn't there? Yeah, the name one is also. There was like they had, different... they had one that oh. had the glove. He was like, "Look at my glove," <laughs> <laughs> you know, with his staff they, in the background. Yeah. He's like, "Ah, like, magic." Yeah, the, the <laughs> male one is is gone, and the the female one is part of the box set that's gone back oh, in I, thought, um, I thought i didn't realize that and we Ma probably talked about that earlier and i just max do you remember back in second edition when you could use the bellwin vortex to increase the diameter of an aoe spell yeah. if you were on the bellwin vortex your wizard allowed you to use aoe spells but they increased the range by six inches yeah. Yeah. I use I use the Encantor model as a as a Nurgle Rotbringer sorcerer, like because he would like Thanos people out of existence when I had his glove and had <laughs> the gems on it because he did mortal wounds on a two up, but in a really tight mm -hmm. radius. But the but the the uh, spell portal made it big, mm -hmm. so it was really. I just remember, remember people using the Bellwind Vortex to push units forward three inches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it just yeah. his free movement. Brog, Brog jump forward and then did his all yeah. plus six inch yeah. plus another six inch. Yeah, That's what I miss about the older editions. Twelve inch, the jank. The, the, yeah. It was the, some uh, stupid yeah. jank, you know. I love. Yeah. That's what I miss about the more open rule set. As we get further and further away from that, and more toward like a formalized and an actual serious game, the old <laughs> jank was so fun to go back and like think about how how mm. effed up it was. That one time yeah. you you rock up to like a game and someone's running a a, a, a combined order list. You're like. What are half of these models? I, I haven't. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Yeah. And yeah. then they go, ah, oh, but if I layer this on this on this yes. on this on this, I can like turbo boost yeah. around the board and do like 20 yeah. damage to you. And you're like, I yeah. give this unit plus one to say three different ways, but then when you attack them, they do more. It means that they end up doing mortal wounds back to you on like freeze or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Cool. Spells. So. Spells uh, picked from a spell law are now known by every enemy. Uh, every wizard in in your opponent's army because it won't be in your army let's face it uh, <laughs> which is gonna be annoying because if there is something really good like blizzards they all know it and you can't just kill the one wizard that knows that really good spell mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um there are going to be some spells with the unlimited keyword which means they can be cast more than once even by the same wizard Bullshit. Mm -hmm. um uh and unbinds now are uh, uh reaction ability which is important because it, you can obviously now cast spells outside of your turn so you'll still be able to react to it and we've so. seen how this will work with a navigator because they showed the uh corn priest mm -hmm. uh, and he has an unbind as if he's a wizard yeah so just, yeah. presumably the navigator would work the same way uh yep. gg martin said he thought it was not by the same wizard. Yeah, the different wizards can cast the same spell, but not the same wizard cannot multiply right, cast the same spell. I thought it said something different for. Um, I read that like twice. <laughs> unless, oh, unless, maybe. yeah, unless the wizard has a special rule that allows him to. Um, okay. So I think I assume Arcan can still do Mystic Shield three times or something. And the Gat can uh, do his spirit other? bomb power up. No, he can't because we've seen his wall scroll. It doesn't say that he can do arcane oh. bolt. Oh, I think I just he said he, already it... now he can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. He used to. Oh, I misread it because it said like even this uh, the 
uh, same wizard, and but then didn't read far enough to see the word can't because <laughs> it's like they phrased it in such in a in an odd way to make it sound like it was good for that uh, wizard. Mm. I mean, it's uh, almost like English is their second language, <laughs> but it's not because they're literally uh, in England. Well, it's just it's it's the it's the uh, marketing thing of trying to put a positive spin on everything. So it's like actually try and make it sound positive when actually you're saying that something can't be done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have an ability that allows you to not do an ability like other people. <laughs> yeah. Um. Cool. And wizards. It. <sighs> So, because it says wizards can attempt to unbind more than once based on their power level, so I don't, I didn't look closely at the war scroll actually. For the, if you've got a, a model that can unbind as if they're a wizard, but they're not a wizard, will they get up? Do they have a power level? No, they don't. No, so you will only ever have one unbind then with assumably, uh, yeah. Unless they eventually, I mean, there's nothing to stop them bringing one out that has, uh, that says they can do it as if they're a wizard bracket two or something. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Um, cool. Um, spells and then prayers. Uh, where the big changes? Because now is a bit weird. Hey, Lee, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, to answer your question, it does have a power level. So I'm looking. At, oh, okay. I'm looking at the Slaughter Priest War Scroll right now on the Warhammer Community website, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, effect use. This unit can use unbind abilities, with unbind being a keyword, as mm -hmm. if the it had wizard uh, power level one. Okay. So some people may be able to do two unbinds, even yeah, if they or three or whatever. Yeah. Whatever yeah. 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 Navigators with six unbinds. Here we go. Yeah, yeah three more. <laughs> Tell me one. So just uh, wanted to. I just wanted to let you know. Yeah. Cool. That's good. Um. Pr yeah, prayers are weird because you pick a prayer. And you do a casting roll, but then you don't actually necessarily. You might not be able to do the effect, but then you, st <laughs> but then you still get to have the points for, for later on. Um, so, because yeah, and then you want to collect points in the next turn, and you roll a one, and you lose the points you have, and <laughs> yeah. So you roll a d6 because it's, it's only one d6. Um, on a one you lose uh d3 ritual points and the chant has failed but on a two plus you gain whatever point roll whatever the roll was so if you roll a four you get four points which means that if it say like the prayer that we have for an example on screen that costs four you can do it or you could just say actually i'm gonna well i don't think you could choose to just save them if you get the amount hey they say that. you i thought you can just uh, yeah, you can uh, gather prayer points. Yeah, you can gather them, but I, I can't. I'm not sure if that's only if you fail to get enough. Because you to do a prayer, you still have to declare. You still have to pick a prayer and declare you're going to do that one before you make your and then make a roll. So you're making a roll specifically for that prayer. So I don't know if you then have to do that mm. one if you get it. Um, but. And the it's yeah, all a bit it's strange. weird. We'll wait until we get the proper core rules on it, I guess. How, but why does it say that you could roll a d6, but then it says if the casting or if the chanting value was eight plus, you also because you can you can gather you can prayer them. points. You can save them up because if you've got prayer points from your previous turn or from like if they can cast if they can I do see. more than one prayer I attempt, missed that. I missed that. You Thank can you. add them up, and so it says a, a lot of them will or many of them will have. Uh, I think where special effects. So it's more powerful, but you need to a spend double keep your hero alive or more points. Pray for two turns, mm -hmm. and you always run the risk of rolling a one and losing prayer points instead of mm -hmm. gathering they're, them. They're sitting there. They're sitting there praying a rosary, like oh, oh for the first turn, which is which turn. is much more realistic. Like there's yeah. in the back, and he's doing his uh, yeah yeah demon prayer yeah. whatever, and then boom, mm -hmm. off he goes. And it's like it's like when you're like uh, if you're like a Catholic or a Christian, and the, you've done something really bad when you go to penance, and then the uh, priest tells you you have to say like extra prayers to oh, because, <laughs> that, because what your sin when you're repenting for your sin was like so bad. So it's like it's like how mm -hmm. many prayers do I have to do to get the really big effect? How many rosaries? Funny, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but basically, prayers can't be unbound, or like you can't right. stop a prayer. So yep. the only way to do it is to kill their priests. And so if you've got a priest that's sitting there with like 
12 points, then you're like, okay, I probably want to kill him because he's going to do a good prayer at some point. <laughs> Unless you know what they've got and they've got rubbish prayers. Mm. The, the enhanced one on this is like, it does three more wounds, which is pretty good. It was okay. I mean, originally when I read it, it was I, I just assumed it was D3, but f- flat three is pretty good. Yeah, flat three uh, is good for a he, probably average five wound hero. Case yeah. chaos sorcerer lord with like five wounds. Yeah, hell yeah. And but I mean, you might have had to keep them alive for three turns level. to get that effect. Also, so... also uh, the fact that you can bring somebody's power level down to zero. Yeah, you can actually yeah. reduce to zero now, which yeah. is yeah. great. Which is like, you're, you're a wizard, it's not casting next turn. You do it to Nagash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's no longer a wizard. Yeah. Shame. I mean, he has power level nine, so you, it might take you a bit to get him down to zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, And another big change is manifestations. So, endless spells and invocations are both types of manifestations now. Yeah, which is Priests cool. and wizards can both banish them. So yeah, now finally. wizards can get rid of invocations, mm. which is good. Thank God. And vice versa. I was so bullshit. I hated that. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. people were like, "Oh, my uh, grand strategy is to have this thing on the board that you can't get rid of." Cool. Unless you have a priest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it didn't seem clear to me whether I were some, in fact, it seemed like something that can unbind as if they're a wizard can't banish. I think it says unbind and banish. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Um, um assumably, uh, and, and the spells are, or manifestations, I guess, so they're their own spell law and they don't cost points. That's a big yes. Yeah, they don't cost points, and they're in. Yeah, they're parts of like spell laws. So every yeah, wizard is, in the army will know how to cast it. And what do I need to choose a manifestation law or a spell law now? We don't know. Or can I have um, this hero can choose this one and this hero? No, probably they say because everyone shares the same. Yeah, everyone shares the same, so it's fine. So uh, but... it might be a bit of a trade off. You're like, oh, I don't have a good spell law. I'll just take the manifestation. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, Plus, they're free now. Dead, and, and yeah, and then they're grouped. Like, yeah, so some well, armies will like yeah. if you, if they got faction ones, they have the faction ones. Yeah. But the example they're giving us is like the deaf ones, uh, and I'm guessing, yeah, we'll see how they collect them. But your mm-hmm. certain armies will probably have access to certain ones. Maybe it'll be like a deaf one. Oh, you mean all deaf armies will have access to the more bird Yeah, or, yeah. Like Unless they've got sure. their own ones, or they can pick, they can either go for the morbid conjuration ones or their faction ones if they've got faction ones. In addition to a spell or I don't know, mm-hmm. they haven't said interesting, but, but again, uh, interesting part of list building, yeah, yeah. But it might, I don't know whether it would be like, oh, that'll be death one, and then there'll be like an order one and a chaos one, uh. Destruction one, or whether there is a destruction, uh, the, the gnashing jaws and stuff like that. Jaws. Very destructive. Yeah, yeah, or whether there be more like they're not specifically for search for grand alliances, and there will be some crossover. Some like it will be themed slightly differently. They might be so realm like, realm related. Yeah, rest or... rest in peace to the uh, greatest endless spell, the raging bull from Beast of Chaos, the coolest looking mm. one of all. Well, time. that might yeah. get. Moved into a spell law. No, it's gone. It's already oh, it? been. Okay. It's, it was on the listed uh, models being removed from the game. Oh, okay. It's, just use oh. it as rabbit eggs, gnashing jaws. But it's like coolest looking endless spell. It is ever really made. good. Yeah. The only thing that maybe rivals it are the corn skulls that are like crying blood. Mm. Those are pretty. I'm well, glad I never metal. bought that one. Chaos as as stormcast models and played at Warhammer World just to spite the man. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time where that had potential with KO, and you'd use it you, in the previous edition. Yep. Use it with barracks on to get fight first, and I'm glad I never bought it and put a load of cogs in the back of it and stuff and wasted money on it. <laughs> like I could do for loads of others. I mean, I'm still trying to sell my Your demon rift. darkness. Your demon rift was great. <laughs> oh. The uh, demon rift be... uh, and the uh, barricade. Yeah, just called? be glad you didn't buy two sets of the slaves to darkness ones. No, I bought one. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, the barricade is painted. The rest is uh, in spruce. So if you're looking for cheap and the spells, <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> yeah. Are we I use the rupture all the time. The realm skirt. Oh, rupture. Yeah, the rupture. I that's the one. I that's the one I painted. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. it was so good when they when it stacked with uh, the navigator. Mm -hmm. you, 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 put, you put your ship in one place, get in charge, rupture, teleport the other side of the board, go, cool, now what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. yeah. You're over there. When I went up the, how many funders was it back in the days? 20? 20 funders in an ironclad? I think yeah, one big. Yeah. Reroll all hits plus uh, reroll all wound rolls from the triumph. Flare pistol, yeah. Yeah. And, and then the rupture in front of them, so people couldn't get to them. <laughs> This yeah, show's so slowly good. becoming a hey, remember back in the day? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what all the honestly, I've I've watched a lot of of uh, you know Vince V just did a situation like that. All the podcasts I listen to are kind of like reminiscing and looking back. It's just natural though. It's part of the yeah. healing process, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, because we don't actually know that much, really. They've it's funny how much they they've shown us a lot, but until we get the indexes, we know very little still. So yeah, yeah we fill it in with blast from the past i guess um we've covered we're all, everything we're old man uh yeah <laughs> we we covered everything they've shown us so far uh the only other thing i think to mention is that they're gonna show us a model next week mm. in my day, it's gonna be a rat you Probably. gotta had a bigger beard you could get plus one to hit <laughs> I saw a post with all those old ones like uh what was the the vampire like if you you get plus one to hit if you uh talk to yourself or something and then you get plus one to wound if your mind talks back to you or whatever yeah, you the model you had to yeah. talk to the model yeah the model talked yeah. back you got plus one to wound yeah I mean, I, honestly <laughs> People. Yeah. i got reminiscent and i went back and cataloged all my events in excel like my records i went to the best coast pairings website and just looked at all the events in the past and then cataloged wins oh, yeah. and losses and what season what was your win rate uh, almost seventy percent. I think it was nice. I think it was like uh, hundred and there was like a hundred and twelve games of Nurgle. <laughs> so what we're saying is Matt needs to be nerfed because he's over fifty five percent. There you go. Need a balance patch. Cool. No, but I encourage uh, you. It's just everybody is like sort of like retrospective as we look toward the future. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I mean, some of my friends do because obviously with with the the app that a lot of people use for scoring, you can look back on on that as well, mm. uh, and see the games. I I've downloaded the app and still not actually used it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty handy. I like to it's, use it, but then often my opponent uses it, so I don't. So I'm yeah. missing half of the games. And yeah, yeah. I just I just like a lot of my games get played with those wooden surrounds for that to make like the six by fours the the right size. So they have a place to put the dice for the uh, so yeah. to do that. Hmm. So, if you were curious, so. Lee, I was ninety-one and thirty-nine with three draws. So that's a sixty-eight percent win rate. One hundred and thirty-three <laughs> games. One hundred and nine of my one hundred and thirty-three games have been with Nurgle. Twenty-four have been with Ko. I've played nothing else since since guy? when? Uh, twenty seventeen. Nova twenty seventeen was my first uh war event. You need to get those KO numbers games. up. I know. <laughs> you need to get those numbers up. Like one hundred thirty games. That was my twenty twenty three. These are these are four season. These are yeah. <laughs> like this is two hundred games. Just just, tur <laughs> just tournament games though, not like ah, okay. uh, yeah. ju just okay. tournament okay. games. Okay. Yeah, tournament games probably much less than that. No, I couldn't count how many like like practice games or pickup games or TTS games. And like honestly, like I used to play with my teammates and we would deploy, we'd play one turn, maybe, maybe two, maybe, but then just talk it out and then re-rack and play a new mission and just <laughs> just do that like rapid fire, like over a couple hours instead of playing one whole protracted game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> on average, three to four games per week. Yeah. yeah, no, those are just tournament games that I've like played in a registered tournament on the ITC. Cool. Good. Yeah. And Nova twenty seven. On, on how many still play with square bases? Uh, I've only won two RTTs. Man, I have never won a GT. I've never Buff won a Nurgle. GT. Buff Nurgle. Well, 
you know, I went four and one. And I went to a scorch. I went to a GT uh, two weeks two weekends ago in Phoenix, Arizona, scorched earth GT. There were like almost forty players there. I won my first four games. I lost the last one. Very stupid mistake. I, he gave me top of two, and I, I just should have taken my eighteen engine riggers and just gone into his whole Slanesh army. Instead, I just decided to just stay pat outside of range and score five points. And yeah, but I should have just like done what my army does, and I didn't. <laughs> I just chose not to do it for some reason. I was just going to wait, and it was a bad move. I mean, sometimes that decision you could do the opposite, and it would be it would be the wrong way around. So yeah, what if I go into yeah. his army and I whiff, and then now I'm in front of his yeah. entire Slanesh army on a double turn, right? Like yeah, I'd have been saying, ah, oh, I should have just scored five points. When does KO ever score yeah. five points two turn two turns in a row, right? Yeah. So. No, but yeah, um, I think now is the time to reap some ITC points. I'm going to a, I'm taking KO mm. to an RTT next weekend, uh, and then we got a GT in June. I've only oh. won one GT, but I, it I, it was it was weird. It was I was, uh, the the secondaries were worth so much in that one that I'd, I I I got to the final game. I lost the final game. But I, but the guy who just beat me still came second, which was a, a, a whole feels bad. Uh, for the but um, yeah, it, it, I, I don't count it as a real GT win, win, and to this day I still don't have a full GT win. Like a five and zero best general, he, you you probably yeah. won because you you mm-hmm. had there was painting or sportsmanship in well, the like secondaries, like scoring points in the games kind of thing. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Counted for your tournament placing. Yeah, yeah, like like so much so that it negated wins. Yeah, because then he, the guy yeah. who came second was four was four one, and I was four one, and I had the, the yeah highest points. Yeah, interesting. Tiebreaker. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, well, we covered everything that we know so far. Uh, could do some more speculating, but it's just speculating. I so. A good two hour ten minutes. Oh, we've gone, so, yeah, yeah, we are two hours in. Um and we've done a fair amount of speculating as we were talking. Um we'll Lots pick up content for the people. at some point once they give us more information. Uh hopefully at some point we'll get some information about KO, but who knows? Maybe I not. can't wait. That for that's <laughs> that's that's, that's they, gonna be a great show for index day. It's gonna oh. be so they said they're gonna do army previews, so each week or maybe each day. But it's mm-hmm. gonna be like here's your here's two of the four rules and they are great at doing this. Yeah, so it's not gonna give we're gonna be none the wiser. Yeah. It's just gonna be you know, KO. Well, do you remember oh, they have these super boats and their their playstyle is they jump around and shoot. Do you remember okay. the last book where, or the, or the current book where they revealed it and then they told us what the code right did? And everyone was like, "Oh, the code right's going to be so important. He's going to be so like like Vital, auto yeah. included in every list." Yeah. Um, yeah, Flicking so... through those footnotes. Yeah. Oh, and then we learned that. Oh, there's yeah. only like one. Not or so good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's three yeah. footnotes, and they're not as good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it, when yeah. you build an army, you're going to use one, and the other one. You they showed us one. like the two really good ones in the article, <laughs> and then that was yeah. Oh my so... God! There's seven more. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> true, true. So I mean, yeah. the, the print in his book must be really big print for there just to be three footnotes in it. <laughs> yeah, and and amendments on a four plus. So. He yeah, accidentally yeah, he accidentally printed the book on like seventy two font, so it's just like one <laughs> letter per page. He's got, like, he's I'm got not wasting books. the paper. We're gonna find <laughs> all these books on his back, and yeah, it, yeah. It, like it's one one footnote per book. Yeah. So funny. Uh, no, Did it's. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what's the over under on our movement set in Bark? I mean, screwed up until FAQ. Uh, yeah, KO needing an uh... FAQ, never, never, <laughs> never has never happened. Uh, they literally made a freaking rules lawyer model after every all KO players, like our mascot. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a chance that will happen, but we're it depends how much they change it. If they like the way it is now works. And there's not really many issues with it. There's once or twice. In interaction with the new rules, there might be some. Weird yes, interaction thing. with the new rules probably will be, but there's a good chance that they will change it in a big way. I, I assume they'll um, change it to the regiment uh, army of renown thing. 
Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, you're um, you're within range of the ship. The ship can move, uh, and you can just remove your people and put them where the ship is now. Yeah. On the boat, so they'll they not be in the boat. Or something. Yeah. They change it a lot. Then there's the more they change things, the more chance there is for them to mess it up. I mean, they change the whole, whole, the whole yeah. set, so the whole whole sets. No, but I mean, the more, the more they change, getting in and out of boats, like because then they're, they're, they're then you're going more into a territory that's less explored. So, like, I feel right less... now it's like way too powerful. To be honest with you, it's so it's so busted. The, the amount, how open ended it is, you can just do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it. It's just so busted. No, it's fine. There's no way you should be able to disembark out of combat and not count as retreat. There's yeah, no way that, that you is... there's no way that you should be able to get out of the boat, then move the boat, and then get back in the boat, and then everything is fine, and you just gained, you know, six inches of range. Okay, mm. there's no way that should happen. You should not mm. be able to. Uh, I don't know. I just I feel like it's way too open ended and restricted and non restrictive. As long as you're able to enter a garrison and be in combat without charging, I'm totally fine. That's and great. this has existed yeah. for three years now. So. Yeah, I mean, some of those things are kind of educated. Like, it's not like you could easily play two or three games and not need to get guys out of the boat while the boat's in combat because it doesn't right. happen. Um, and you know, the whole like move the ship forward and have it run, but get the guys out first and then get them back in. Like, I've never done it, so <laughs> I've never had a need. I tried to do it once, but it oh, was. Okay. Plenty. I tried to do it once, but it was with a gun hauler. And if you add on the six inch move, it basically doesn't work. <laughs> like, well, yeah, because you have yeah. you can't you can't move you can't move out of a holy within fifteen inches of the back of your boat wherever your boat is. Yeah. yeah. So, so like usually, I'll, and I'll ask I'll ask my opponent. I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do, and I tell them exactly how. And I'm like, do you want me to take all 18, 20 of my engine riggers and put them on the board just for me to take them off, or? <laughs> If I yeah. explain it to you, or even if I put one or two and I show you exactly how I'm moving, are you okay? Instead of having to like, yeah, go, go back and then go back and then the next turn do it again. And and you yeah, know, usually most people are understanding. They're like, can you show me with just one model what you mean? And I'm like, yeah. So, mm -hmm. well, it depends if you can all get them wholly within three inches. So sometimes you actually Easy. need to move the, the people around. Yeah, never yeah. have a problem with that because you always take the two d six run and then you reroll your run. Yeah, the last turn at the Scorcher GT, I rolled boxcars on that run in the same game twice. It was so <laughs> good. It was so good. Ah, not gonna reroll that one. No. So. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, uh, well, we're doing another show as soon as we can on uh, when they release more stuff. Yeah. It's a new uh, edition. Four, it's officially four twenty p.m. here in California. So, yeah, nice. sounds like a good time to end the show. Yeah. Yeah, it's well, like half past one nine. in the morning. Yeah, I'm yes. gonna go have <laughs> yes. it's half past uh, one. I'm gonna go to bed now. Yeah, thanks to everyone for watching, and thanks to all you guys for uh, helping me with the show. Always yep. a pleasure. Goodbye, everyone. See ya. <laughs>